Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Damn. It's morning, and we slept the night away, yeah, yeah, yeah. ooh. <laughs> the best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Bitch, the cold leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But the TS makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tell me R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Light gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. Boy, oh, I don't care whatever happens to Candace, but bless her heart. <laughs> the premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the fuck along, because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black motherfuckers. Because you black motherfuckers don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round the way girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender, their sexual preferences. I what? just want to know where you found this wig at. Don't you do this to me. We're both sitting up here looking like women's with shortcuts, so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off. We also have Mo, the engineer, who gives the straight perspective. Deuce time. What the H-E-L-L? This is an LBGTQ show that's curated and created by us for you. I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not going to disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we're going to read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all are right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. And you do know that fags mean popular hot ass gossip. That's right. Yeah. It's a homonym. It's right. Popular hot ass gossip. And we're too popular hot ass gossipers. gossipers. Bitch, when them hoes get on those large platforms, on those breakfast clubs, and on, and on those D.L. Hughesley shows that reach me, you fucking right, I'm gonna re- Hold on, I gotta make sure I get the right sign crazy for you, cause I'ma have- Girl, fuck them signs. I'ma have you repeat that. <laughs> if that was written, nobody can write shit for motherfucking me, ho. They might can write, they may write on that Instacart app that you go in there and pick up those eggs, those apples, and those grapes, bitch, and you drop it off to their motherfucking door. They may write that on the app so that you can do that. Hey y'all, this is T.S. Madison. We need you to come out and join us for some good old hot nasty fun for the Maddie in the Morning show live at the City Winery. And baby, listen, it is going to be lit. <laughs> And oh honey, 
Ain't no Maddie in the morning show live, live without some good old nasty fag talk. Ain't that right, Craig? You better know it, bitch. Get over to fagtalk.com and get your tickets. You can get the tickets for the April 24th show, May 22nd, June 19th, July 5th, or August 14th. Or come to all of the motherfuckers. That's what you gotta do, honey. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. But that counts. Girl, what is this? Claw Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> Wait, I feel good. Baby, I feel good, good all over. over. Good all over. You and I have what I dream about. We finally work it out. That's the part we don't really know the words to. <laughs> That's the part we don't really know the words to. <laughs> I feel, I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What's up, bitches? Yes, girl. We <laughs> finally work it out. Do it again, bitch. Says you can step over from the mic, bitch. I feel good. Well, you know you got some powerful lungs, bitch, when you can back up from the mic, girl. <laughs> Do it again, bitch. Hey. Back up, back up, back up. Yes. Oh. <laughs> One more time, baby. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay, we need to get you a glass of water. I feel <laughs> Today. I feel good. Yes. How you feel, girl? I feel good. Ain't nobody got to tell you how I feel today. Yes, indeed. We finally work it out. Girl, wait, what, was, what was that lyric? What was that lyric? We finally work it out. What we do, girl? What we do? We finally work it out. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I feel good. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Ain't nothing like some good soul. Oh, no. Mm-mm. I don't know who told y'all or whatever told y'all. Ain't nothing in this world like some good soul. And ain't nobody got good soul like some fags. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> okay. Y'all can play all day. But some fags got some good soul. Yes, we do. Because one thing about us homosexuals mm-hmm. and us adjacent to it, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> we have been ostracized. Yes, we have. Thrown out. We have. Kicked out. Uh-huh. And told that we don't belong. That's right. But I just want to let y'all know that God uh-huh. made rainbows for bad bitches too. That's right. Hallelujah. God made bad bitches rainbows too. That's right. Yes, Lord. And that's what we talking about today. How God yes, made Lord. the rainbow for bad bitches. Mm. Bitch. Cause if I was a bad bitch, uh, I would have fucked me too. <laughs> I would have sucked me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to me, to me, <laughs> to me. Do you hear me? Come on, deaconess, deaconess, <laughs> and the deacons. <laughs> <laughs> that can also be S's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, Honey, is it on? Is it on? Is this thing recording? Yes, give it to him. Give it to him. To WhatsApp, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grind the Scruff, BGC, Jacked, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one. Every what, girl? Every single one. How many, girl? Every single one. How many, bitch? Every single motherfucking one <laughs> of my bitches. Uh, Cards! Who, girl? Cards! Which one? Cards! 
on carts, <laughs> on mingle, yes, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, uh -huh. honey, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and uh -huh. always, and forever, uh -huh. in color, uh -huh. from the Maddie and the whatever time off. Fucking day we get up and want to do this motherfucking show. Morning show show. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, listen, I just want to let y'all know that Miss Mary had cooked us some good. We had fish and spaghetti. Yes, we did. C Craig had fish and vegan spaghetti and vegan cheese. That's right. Mo had fish and spaghetti with vegan cheese because, you know, he's lactosis. What is he, girl? Lactosis. <laughs> <laughs> He has halitosis or you said lactose? Whatever it is, his stomach doesn't tolerate <laughs> you know, it. You know, I ain't got no halitosis. Oh, okay. No, he no. don't. Mo actually can speak to me and then I can just fall out. And that's just because he's such a, a handsome African. African. <laughs> <laughs> If y'all didn't know, honey, y'all about to get some of the messiest hours of y'all life today. Please believe, because we were believe, off last week. Because, honey, we did not come. We had stormed y'all. Yes. We had to let y'all know, honey, that we don't, this ain't how we live. That's right. <laughs> Bitch, this, this ain't how we live. We do this for you. Right, right, right. What we doing for, girl? For you. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and you, and you, and you. Right, and you right. going to what? And you, huh? And, and you going to what? And y'all going to love us. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that. That's right. You get what I'm saying? Because, Craig, I don't want you. Listen, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I, I wouldn't be T.S. Madison if I didn't do uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Craig, mm -hmm. you know, honey, when we was talking about uh, the cyber warfare that was going on with the TikTok community. Uh-huh. The Beagle and, and shit. The, and the Beagle, Beagle. The Beagle, Beagle. <laughs> the Beagle, Beagle girls got so... Honey, Girl, I saw them tear, trying to tear you up on Girl, Twitter. the Beagle Beagle girls pulled out their switchblades, razor blades, honey, and, and they, they pocket knives on me. Girl, Girl, I think they were more upset than when we talked about the trans stuff and the age. Girl, yes, they pulled out their, their they pulled out their switchblades, they 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 butchers knives, honey. Yes. Honey, uh, their razor blades, they, they did it on me. And they did that on me because they they, they know that I'm rich. <laughs> they don't <they> work <laughs> They know that I'm rich. Uh-huh. They know this. Uh-huh. Right? They know that I'm rich. They also they also know that I'm booked and busy. Uh huh. They also know that the spaces that I occupy that they are not. <laughs> They're yeah, not invited. Lord. They're they know this stuff, <laughs> and they took what I said towards being a cyber warfare as a dig at them because of where I'm located in in my status and in life, mm -hmm. and I had nothing to do with it. But I want to set the record straight just for anybody across any platform. Mm -hmm. I don't never feel that I'm better than anybody until y'all make me get into that space. Mm -hmm. I only I, I don't feel like that I'm, I don't feel like that I'm above anyone. I don't feel like that I'm better than anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't knock nobody's hustle. I don't do any anything anything until y'all make me do it. Uh -huh. And the way that you make me do that is you try to step on where I'm at because I I have to to always politely tap y'all on y'all shoulder and show and to tell y'all to show me that you can do what I've done. Mm -hmm. With your Beagle Beagle views. <laughs> Show me that you can do what I've done already. And then I will humble myself. You'll do what? I will humble myself then. But once you once you show me that you can do exactly what I've done mm -hmm. from Beagle Beagle, uh -huh. until you do that, I'm still the exalted one. <laughs> and Wait. I was not even occupying that space when I was having that conversation. We were talking about cyber warfare, Craig. And we were talking about how apps have been implemented into the system to distract American people from what's really going on. From what's going, they, they've been implemented, and we talked about how there is a different version of TikTok uh -huh. for the for the for the for the Asian, Asian people. Yeah, and we also and I also stated on. Uh, that the big old girl, that they're not worried about the big old girls because the big old girls are over there fighting over beans, uh -huh. which they are mm -hmm. fighting, stabbing, shooting, uh, uh, doxing, and doing all those things over there for beans, which they are. <laughs> and this was not even, and 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 y'all getting this because y'all asked for it, mm -hmm. and here we are. <laughs> and it had nothing to do with me looking down on them for big old because. Here's the thing about it. I've turned Beagle down numerous occasions. Beagle themselves wrote me in Chinese. What did they do, girl? And Beagle themselves wrote me in Chinese <laughs> and, and converted it to English and uh -huh. reached out to all forms of representations <clears throat> to try to get me to come over to Beagle. I just decided, I declined. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I'm better than anybody that's on Beagle until you make me. 
Mm-hmm. Like, did you, I want you to read between the lines. All right. I don't think that I'm better than anyone on Bego or anybody that's getting their money in any kind of way until you make me. Mm. Until you provoke me mm-hmm. to get ugly. Mm-hmm. And it's hard for this right here to get up. <laughs> but when I do, it's a pretty ugly. Mm. Okay? Uh-huh. Because that's not what that was not the focus of what we were talking about. Mm-hmm. About Beagle. Because I'm not gonna knock anybody's hustle for how they get their money, how they come up. I'm not gonna do that. Right. Okay? But what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna continue to try to throw that I did pornographic movies and I sold my pussy ass dick I'm sorry, I'm sorry. wait hold on <laughs> I, I beg your pardon you sold what that I that I sold my pussy wait wait you, you didn't let what? me finish oh, okay go ahead go ahead that I sold my pussy ass balls and dick oh <laughs> a conundrum of things uh-huh, uh-huh. you're not gonna make me you're not gonna continuously throw that up in the space as if I didn't make a million dollars uh-huh. off of that <laughs> it's right. unfortunate that you girls have yet to make a million dollars off of anything that you're doing <laughs> so you're not gonna throw that up like as if i didn't make a million dollars off of that became infamous notorious and a businesswoman for doing that and an empire owner mm-hmm. for doing that mm-hmm. as if you're saying this stuff to me as if i am in a space of ill yuck this and the other bitch when you should again i tell you girls on a constant basis you sh- instead of reading me you should take pen paper and read from me because i am the motherfucking the goddamn pamphlet on how to really do it and how to rebrand yourself and how to make it in a space from what the cards you were you were you were dealt right i'm to be studied i just left rutgers where'd you leave girl i just left rutgers up in new jersey up in new jersey speaking at the college at the what girl at the college and you ain't got no hsbcu and i don't even have an hsbcu degree bitch and i was speaking at the college because they also are thinking about adding me to the curriculum what are they doing girl they're thinking about adding me to the curriculum (laughs) you girls are not in my space to even communicate and to (laughs) to think that you can be little and and um you know be fuddle Uh uh-huh they're trying to be smirch and be smirch me Uh uh-huh in a space because I did porn I did these things I did those things but I also was a business I owned that I didn't do it for a motherfucking company I didn't do it for an entity I did it for me Mm. I sold my motherfucking ass, balls, titties, dick, <laughs> pussy, and whatever to the bidder that had the most money, bitch, on my terms. Again, we're in a space of me owning, me being, and me always going to be, bitch, the motherfucking owner and operator of my intellectual property, which is uh, of me. Girl? Of my intellectual property. Your IP. Which is me. And have always utilized the spaces that I have occupied to elevate to the next level and not sit in the same space. Space. Mm. That felt good. I'm not just a, I'm not just a social media influencer. I'm not just a content creator. I am T. S. Motherfucking Madison, bitch. For those of you who are confused, okay. Until you can roll over into your device, <laughs> until you, you can do what? Until you can roll over in your device and ask a device that has nothing to do with anything else except you, except command your lights to go on and go off, <laughs> except command your, your your thermostat to go higher or go low, except to command your garage to go up and go down, and ask it, who is Alexa? Who is T. S. Madison? Madison is an American reality television personality and actress. With the reality show The Tease Madison Experience, she became the first black trans woman to star in and executive produce her own reality series. Until any of you girls hold any of those titles that had decided that they were going to use any, any, what's the word, besmirch? If they want to you were going to besmirch me or you were going to use any of my former activities that I did in my life to make the first million dollars that I had ever made, bitch, the first million. Until you girls can speak out into the direction, excuse me, until you can speak out into the direction and ask any entity, bitch, in any store, in any country, any city, in any place on the globe, who you are, bitch, and what you've done, girl, sit the fuck down. (laughs) Sit. Because the object of our conversation had nothing to do with you being belittled. I can't help that my presence belittles you. I'll say that so that you can feel it. I can't help that my presence belittles you. Mm. 
Because people are either inspired by you or intimidated because of you. And I, and, and, and listen, because my name is T.S. Madison, both of those things, both of those statements are true. Uh -huh. I can't help that my presence belittled you. That don't have nothing to do with me. I was not talking about any of motherfucking y'all in a, in a derogatory manner, but y'all took it upon yourself to be offended by me talking about cyber warfare. And what's going on with the state of America. And to call anything that I'm involved with and I'm on a flop of which I'm receiving residuals on and can turn all my social media off, bitch, and go to my mailbox and pick up my checks from any of the things that I've been on. Girl, any one of my flops, bitch, would be a major accomplishment for you. I just want you to know that. Anything that you have deemed that I have done that's a flop would be a major accomplishment for you. Let's be clear here. Let's be clear. <clears throat> now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> and a bitch can take it how they want to take it. But that's the truth. It's not fiction. It's facts. Now, when we were talking, I, I, I'd like to circle back. Yes. When we were talking about the warfare that was going on, that, that is currently going on in America right now, we were talking about how the, Chin the Chinese, uh -huh. the Asian, have implemented the apps and all this stuff to distract the American people mm -hmm. from the, the, the thought process, like not, none of the people, everybody's on there trying to do TikTok challenges and they're trying to do TikTok dances and they're doing X, Y, and Z, whatever, you know. I'm not, I'm not looking down on TikTok either because I, I don't, I'm not looking down on any, any of that. I'm just saying that there is a distraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so we clearly can see it. They distracted the black girls earlier to get the black girls to have out their knives and their, their guns and their bats and their bulletproof this and they have them bigger bigger <laughs> bigger bigger <clears throat> and that's okay if that's where you choose and if that's how you took how you wanted to take this this the, the commentary over mm -hmm. the over the facts the tiktok girls over there doing tiktok dances when you really look that shit up when you really look at how tiktok is designed differently in asia Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's different. It is. Yeah, they take they teaching them how to build stuff. They teaching them how to build, how to motherfucking goddamn this. They teaching them. They right. teaching those hoes <laughs> how to take over. How the to world. hold a Mac motherfucking <laughs> ten, bitch. When it's time to tear this shit down. Hey, excuse me. Why is there water running in the back while we're doing the show? They <laughs> they teach the girls how to hold a Mac motherfucking ten. Mm-hmm. To tear the American folks down to the ground. Mm. Okay, but my thing is how we are so easily, and how they, how they, how those girls are so readily to try to remind me mm -hmm. of where I, of try to remind me, like, oh, girl, you know, you were, don't, where you came don't from. miss, bitch, I can never forget. I look around at my riches daily. <laughs> Excuse me, let me let let me say that again. Bitch, I could never forget. I look around at my riches daily. Bitch. The fuck? And I hate that when people make me get into a space. What's going on over there? I just hate when people make me try to get into a space and then they try to to hide behind the guise of me looking down like oh massey you're looking down on the girls or oh you you're not better than the girls because you did oh girl well how many views oh and here was a here was a thing that they said craig hold on i need you to catch this one. Oh girl she only averages about five to ten thousand views on her youtube channel and i was like well which youtube channel are you looking at and if and if we were and if we're being and if we're being real technical about it the five or ten thousand views that, that i would probably you know allegedly uh average you would want to get one or two of those because because <laughs> because out of that five or ten thousand views that i actually average i got a residual from that that none of you girls <laughs> that none of you girls 
could fix your throat to even say that you receive <laughs> or you may receive in this lifetime. Bigger, bigger. <laughs> Bitch. And that 10, views is in a couple of hours. Correct. That's going to be currently in a few moments. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. It's just like, girl, y'all be stepping out of y'all. Y'all be stepping out of y'all comfort zone and hitting a bitch, bitch, who, who don't think that she's above y'all until y'all make her get into those spaces. Mm. I don't think that I'm above anybody until more. Well, I need to put this on the comment section, please. I don't think that I'm above anyone until you force me to get into those places. Mm -hmm. Y'all force that on me. I'm like, now, nah, girl, how y'all going? I got the point at accolades, which I don't have to, but I because they they be trying to do them for me. All that bitch do is be on them red carpets and all this stuff. I'm like, well, girl, if when y'all feel some type of way about me, meet me in those spaces where I'm at. And once you meet me there, discuss it in my face then. <laughs> Until then, bigga bigga. <laughs> <laughs> How dare any one of you hosts think that you can outread me? <laughs> How dare you? Mm -mm -mm. Girl, I don't remember you um, shaking my drink up. Girl, it's, I had to shake mine because it was too strong. I needed yours to be as strong as it needs to be. <laughs> How dare y'all feel that y'all can do those things? Bitch, getting a bitch. Because that's not even my angle. Mm -hmm. Craig and I hate that for them. That they get this these lash. <laughs> yes, that they get these lashings. I hate that for them. <laughs> I despise that for them. <laughs> that they get these lashings, Craig. <laughs> Taking things that I have said, and the and the media has the has the has the the unmitigated goal mm -hmm. to do that to me. I'm going to repeat that again. Mm -hmm. The media, <laughs> as in mainstream media, uh -huh. has the unmitigated goal to do those things. Because I heard a bitch speak on that uh, 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 talking about that I got into it with Jess. No, sweetie, I made a statement about things that that that, that, that are a part of our community as faggies and blacks mm. and because the voice that i have elevates outside of bigo bigo and uh -huh. or motherfucking youtube or twitter or instagram that the mainstream folks grabbed a hold to it and they felt some type of way about it again instead of trying to read me read about me bitch instead of trying to read me read some excerpts from my life and apply them to yours so that when you get into the reading room with me, you can say, bitch, you did that, but I did this. But currently, right now, you're saying, yeah, bitch, you did all that. But what are you doing again? Bigga, bigga. Play with your pussy, your kids, your dogs, your pets, bitch. But don't motherfucking play with me. Without any credentials. Now, if you were a girl of credentials, <laughs> if you were a girl of credentials, I'll be like, all right, girl, I see what you're saying. But you girls are not girls of credentials, bitch, to even play with me like that. I told y'all before, when I was doing porn, that those girls were in their apartments. <laughs> and I was in my home. <laughs> ceiling to floor windows 30 foot in my home that I still have now and I just purchased another one mm. that that the ceiling to floor windows are twice the size <laughs> you can't play with me <laughs> you can't get in a boxing ring with a heavyweight bitch you can't do it because you're not going to win And speaking of me being in my 40s, headed to my 50s, bitch, look this good when you get there. If you get to those spaces, because a lot of you young girls are getting chopped up and motherfucking goddamn put in garbage disposals, bitch, before you're the age of 25 or 30. Because you out there playing pussy mm. or playing real or not telling your, your chats or playing hostro games. I crawl so that you can walk. What you do, girl? I crawl so that you can walk. <laughs> Respect your mama's bitch. Get to 50. Be a 
transsexual or even a black person and hold as much space as I have over the course of time and talk to me then. Get one of my flops on your resume. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get one of my flops on your resume, bitch. One of them. And then I'll respect you a different way. Ooh, this tea was good. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's so delicious. Bitch, there are entities getting ready to motherfucking make movies and stories about my motherfucking life. Who the fuck are you? You, 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 you young and think that you're talking to. Get one of my flops, bitch. And add it to your resume and then come back and see about me. And they love throwing Kaya's name up. Does TV One still do an unsung? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna spit this drink everywhere. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not an unsung. Do they still do an unsung? Girl, I don't know. Girl. I don't know. I haven't heard it from it in a while. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Now y'all run that over there to the Beagle kids, bitch, and let them go into a frenzy about that again. It was not, I, nobody was reading that. Mm -hmm. But you are now. Oh, I am. Now I am. Now I am. It is now. Now you can take this as a read, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can now. Some say yes, they do. They still do the uh, song. Well, y'all, please put a bid in for the van. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the van itself needs an unsung. <laughs> How it rolled up and down I-70 motherfucking five, bitch. <laughs> the, mm. But it, we're not here tearing her up. She just got astray because they added her to the conversation. <laughs> mm. Ooh. You know, Craig, mm. I have to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoy that type of stuff. What? That whole little diatribe you just yes, went Yes, I enjoy that. <laughs> I don't really like to do it, but when I do it, I like, I like to go forth because it reminds me of all the work that I have done. When I get into a space of thinking like, God, what more do you have for me? Mm -hmm. You know, because as when I was speaking at the college. At, at the what, girl? <laughs> <laughs> when I was booked to speak at the college uh -huh. at Rutgers University. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't, 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 don't demean where you were. You were at a you were at a university. Yes, I was speaking. Yes, when I was speaking at Rutgers University, I also spoke at Buffalo University. University, but remember, you oh, were yeah, there. That's true. That's true. Well, you've actually spoke. You've spoken spoke at, at a lot of I've spoken universities. Many universities. Right. Right. Which is true. Right. <laughs> and I've also, while I was speaking there, communicated about my background in adult film mm -hmm. and business and, and entertainment. I communicated and I, I educated the kids on how to take lemons and make lemonade. Mm -hmm. Because those are the smart kids who ain't trying to read me. They try to learn from me mm -hmm. because they understand that this is a comeuppance story. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a story to be studied. Girl, you really got a handle on that word comeuppance, bitch. I got it from you. <laughs> <laughs> girl, we're going to get after we ask before it's all over. We are. We're going to get that. We are. Well, you, you went to college for me. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. And you girls are actually gonna gag after something airs after May 20th. Oh. Oh, I got I got a date for it. Oh, okay. You're gonna gag okay. on that as well. Mm. When the girls is receiving honors and accolades, bitch, from mm. the from the from Viacom. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> for her relentless and tireless work as T as being the T S Madison. Mm. Bitch. Let's be clear. Okay. That this is an entity here, darling. Thank you. <laughs> Greg, I like that. Mm -hmm. I feel good doing mm -hmm. that. That's why I feel I feel good. I feel good. 
And I just may have them streaming on Bigo. Ah. <laughs> do you have a Bigo account? Yeah. I, I just may have them do that. <laughs> but they might be busy. Uh. Fighting, stabbing, shooting. Oh, my God. <laughs> For beans. For beans. I wasn't reading them, Craig. <laughs> Craig, I wasn't reading them. Like, why they do that? Mm. Can you explain to me why they do that? I, I can't. I cannot. Mo, can you explain to me why they do that? I can't either. I can't explain it. Why do I have to come and look like I'm so self-absorbed and such a narcissist? Why do I have to look this way? Mm. Why? <laughs> I was talking about the good of the goodness of America. Mm -hmm. I was talking about how we as how we as Americans are under attack. <laughs> and the colors made this about them to make this about me to make this about them. Mm -hmm. And then after all this happens, I start to look like the, uh, the, the bad one. Mm -hmm. After all this, I have to start looking like the bad one. I hope that God take everything. God, because I see these God giving, God taking away. Well, he, listen, honey, y'all been saying God take it away from the time I ran through my backyard saying new, uh, to my front door, saying new weave, new weave, 22 inches, yes. And as you can see, there's been a, an a immense of more of come up it. Mm hmm I've shown you, where, um, honey, the uh, $200,000 car I pulled off the lot. <laughs> I've shown renovations here. I went over across the street just, just to inspire you to be exactly who you are and grow and you can do it from where I came from. And yet, Craig, we talked about this today. Mm -hmm. Y'all are on your knees praying, praying to God that he takes something from me. And all I've shown you was abundance. Abundance and living your life. That's weird, though. On being exactly who you are unapologetically. Mm -hmm. That's weird to pray for God to take stuff away from The God. bitch said that she hope she can't wait till niggas run down on me and beat me up. I'm like, where them niggas at? <laughs> where they at? But you know, envy really is the fear that God isn't going to bless you in the same way that he blessed somebody is else. Is that what it is? That's really what it is. Wow. Is that what it is, Greg? Can mm -hmm. you repeat that again? So it's, they, it's so envy. they can, because they love to cut around the parts. Right. Maybe they'll cut around that part too. <laughs> envy is really the fear. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. And uh -huh. Mo, when yes. we, when you chop this down, uh -huh. I need you to title this Bigo Bigo. <laughs> <laughs> Just so they don't have to search around and know where to get it they from. They already know where it's at. Yeah, Beagle Beagle. Okay, I got you. I got you. But envy is just the fear that God mm -hmm. isn't going to bless you as, as abundantly as he blessed somebody else. That's why people have jealousy and envy and all that other stuff. Because you're just concerned that he's not going to do the same thing for you. And it's crazy that I be sitting over saying everything that I have and everything that I've done, God can give this to you. Mm -hmm. He can do this. He, she, it, they. No, he it can't. Can, because so a lot of these people are, are evil people. Why, but, would God, why would God do that for them? Because Some of these people are just pure evil. They are, Mo. But here's the thing. Whatever God gives me, he ain't. I, he, he chose me. But you earned it also. I also earned. But well, he chose me. He called. I answered. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I give up. You don't know what I what's went the through. Sacrifice. What's the sacrifice? Exactly. You don't know the things that I've been through. You don't know any of that. That's the same thing I talked about when I was at the college. Mm -hmm. I said when all this stuff was going on in my life and all the things that was going on for me in my life and I was doing, I was on my come up and thing. Mm -hmm. Nobody asked me how I felt. Mm -hmm. Nobody and all the nasty. Even in this situation, when a bitch sitting over there on a platform saying, "I can't wait to niggas run down on her and fuck her up." Mm -hmm. I sat there was like, really? But you know what that reminds me of? It goes back to when I went, remember I told you I flew down to see Beyonce, the concert, uh -huh. and I said to you, after I oh, saw Oh, wait her, a minute. And, and everybody was screaming I'm black from my voice uh, <laughs> at that concert. Yeah, that, that happened too. I actually got a check from that the, the other day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, excuse me. But I was telling you. I, I just had to let you, I, thank you for going to that concert. I actually got a deposit from that just two days ago. What's the day? Monday? Mm -hmm. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. From my, five, from my five or ten thousand views that came from YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, right, go ahead. Right. Go ahead. I, I just had to do that. What, what I was gonna say was, when I saw before, I think even before I went to see her in the concert. Remember how you would see all of the videos over social media, and the video where she said when she was speaking, 
mm-hmm. the beginning of the concert and she said, I'm so thankful for my family and the women of Destiny's Child. And she said, my husband and for all of the shit we've been through. I literally from that moment started praying for her. You did. Did, did, did I tell you that? You did. You did. I started praying for her because going back to your point, no one really thinks about the weight that you carry when you're a public person. Right. Nobody really thinks about the struggle, even the way that, that, that some of you tear Oprah up and talk about what she need to be doing. You don't really think about their day to day. You don't think about the weight that they carry. Yes, as the public, we look at you and her and Beyonce and all of these people and feeling like we're entitled to something because they've made it and they should just do this because they're rich well, or just because they have influence in the world. But we don't think about the weight that they carry. Well, a lot, I was, I, to, to, to comment on that, Craig, I think the reason it is because a lot of people don't, a lot of people feel like just because you have money, your whole life is okay. And uh, because a lot of people prioritize money so much, they uh, think that- uh, uh, Hold on, Mo, I got, I got to tear into Eric D. Whittemore down here. What did, what did they say? No, I, I tear Tyler up, not because of what he does, because I also talk about how great he does in his phil- philanthropic ways. What I tear him up about, Eric, if you were listening, maybe you just didn't understand, I tear him up about his work, not about his philanthropy. Craig, and I, I, I want to get, I, I get to this sentence, and, and I might reveal something that is going to come out very soon. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had the opportunity... <laughs> I've had the opportunity to just, I've, I've had the opportunity to experience his work. Mm-hmm. And I have to say that. Girl, stand on the mic, girl. I have to say that talking from an outside perspective before I got the opportunity to experience his work, mm-hmm. after I experienced his work, mm-hmm. I had a newfound understanding of the way his work happens. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> no, but I was I had the opportunity to, you know, and 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 it's uh it's uh it was something. Mm-hmm. Um and uh I've had the opportunity to experience um him as a person. Mhm. And, and 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 have in-depth conversations with him as a person. Mhm. And have uh the opportunity to be in the space uh-huh. and be in the thing and then get the opportunity to see how this stuff works. And then when, uh, before things had transpired, um, he, made, he made an explanation. Mm-hmm. And in his explanation, um, he said, I've never been awarded the same opportunities that the other studios have had. Mm-hmm. I've never been awarded the same. He said those other studios can go to and get they can get hundreds of millions of dollars and do X, Y, and Z, and this and the other. He says, and they've always put a rush on me for something. Mm-hmm. And in the midst of that, before we started doing what we did, mm-hmm. I was like, I have to. I can't wait to come home and tell Craig. <laughs> now, I know you didn't say that to him. No, I didn't say it to him. Oh, okay. I didn't say that to him. Uh-huh. I said, I, I can't wait home. I can't wait to come home to tell Craig mm-hmm. that, you know. Girl, let's just talk about it after the show. We will. But I just wanted to say that openly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That I didn't want to come up to say, to say to Craig, like, okay, Craig, so here we go. No, you know, here's the thing. I definitely give him hell for his, the quality of his work. But you and I have talked off camera, and I've said it on camera, not as much as I tear up his work, mm-hmm. but I've also said how you have to take your hat off to what he's built. I don't have to like his work, but I take my hat off to what he's built. Mm-hmm. My only thing is I just sometimes want, and again, it, it's his dream, so he gets to do what, it, what he wants to do with it. But as an outsider looking in, right. I sometimes want him to do more collaboration. I think he and uh, what's the girl who did the shy? Uh, Lena Waithe. Lena Waithe. I think he and Lena Waithe could do great stuff together. I think he and my girl Ava DuVernay could do great stuff. I just would like to see him do more collaborative type things because, in my opinion, his work, 
He has the resources mm-hmm. that they all need, Ava and, and Lena and all these other people, but they have a different kind of a gift, and I think it would just take his work to another level. Well, here's the thing. Speaking of Lena Waithe, mm-hmm. right? And then we're going to go right into some fag talk after this because I, I, I want to talk about this. Did I, I sent you that clip that I told you to watch last night. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Did we have that? Can we? Do we have that clip? I have it, but we can't play it. I mean, we can play the audio, but we can't show them. Okay, so I guess there is a new, in the new season of... Um, the Shy. The Shy. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, in the oh, new... Yeah, you, but yeah, yeah, we can't, can't play, play it. Play yeah, we can't play it. In the new something. season of The Shy, there is the, the trans love story between the trans girl and Luke... Um, Luke James. Luke James. Luke James's character. The Luke James's character. Which is a, who was an awesome singer, by the way. He what? He's an awesome singer. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a, he awesome is. Mm-hmm. And so, and he fine as hell. <laughs> I saw him one day walking in this restaurant I was going into. <laughs> well, you know, I work with them over there at the, the that, thing in uh-huh. Fox. You know? Oh, so you see them? Yeah, that's my friend. We cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my motherfucking dog. <laughs> bitch, I'm interlocked. <laughs> like some motherfucking nappy braids, bitch. I'm interlocked. And so, um, I watched the I watched the the, the, the thing from the episode, and mm-hmm. then the thing from the episode it was they were talking about uh, her as a trans woman, like you know she wants him to come forth, and she wants him to to tell that they're in a relationship with each other, and they're going together, and mm-hmm. they they're the things like she wants she she really wants him to do that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and because she really wants him to do that, I had some reservations with a few things. I felt like that he's his character. What is his character's name? Y'all put this, the character. Yeah, I don't know his character. Y'all put his character's name down there in the um in the comment section. Um, and so she wants him. He's it's, it's not like that. He's not out in the uh, in the yeah in the public with her. Yeah, and it's not like that. He's not like. But she wanted him to be vocal that she's trans, right? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. That he's so he's not trying to hide her and stuff like no, that. No, he's they're not. out in restaurants and doing stuff. But she wants him to say, "This is my girl. This is my girl, and she's trans." <sighs> that's how that's how it was presented. That's what it looked like, yeah, right? right? <laughs> so now, because it looked like that, you know, we were I I, I watched it and I just was like. They're saying his name is Victor on the show. His is name is Victor. Yeah, they say. I, I, why? I was like, why? I, I just, just was like, why, why? Why? What is the? What? What? What is? Why does he need to do that now? If if he, if he's walking around, <laughs> who is this about to get blocked? Talking about Craig, let Madison do Mad- Maddie in the morning by herself, please. Craig, don't say this. <laughs> you you want to get blocked? Just like we see all this other stuff going on down right, there. Right, right, right. Nobody's. This is just. <laughs> right. th- th- thanks for the engagements because we will definitely cash in on that. <laughs> <laughs> but why? If you if he is if he is in his space and he's out with you and he's talking to you and he's Oh, you, that, that was the end of the season? Okay, I didn't see that. If he's out with you, he's talking with you, he's on front street with you. I got something for you, right? Yeah, you I, was about this. To, I was going to say, I, 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 I got a parallel because for that. I was going to say, Maddie, if let's just say she's not, let's just say she's not trans. Let's just say she's a regular woman. And but she is. Would it, I mean, I mean, like a biological, sorry, let me say biological woman. Let's just say she's a biological woman. You could say, As sis, a, I'm not. No, I'm not saying that because this is your channel. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say she was a biological woman and she wants the same way a, a woman, period, will want to know that, okay, the man that I'm with claims me and claims but me he, for who I am. But he is claiming her. But, but what's the difference when people feel like their boyfriend or girlfriend should post them on their Instagram? Right. What's the, it's the same, it's thing. The same thing. Like there are a lot of people who make a big deal about that. It's the same thing. Well, you don't ever post me. They think that that carries so much weight and it has some sort of a significance. Because if you don't post them, then somehow that means you're hiding me or you got some shit going on. You don't want people to know that you're in a relationship. But maybe it just means that you're insecure. 
what, what, said, why do you need that kind of validation? And I'm speaking specifically about the Instagram thing. You know what I'm saying? But I see what you're saying too. Yeah, I, I, see, do, I see I, both sides of it. I do see what you're saying, but I'm also trying to give it the like Craig is doing, give you the other aspect of how the woman in that particular situation is feeling. Like, yeah, we go out together, but when people see us, are they really They fit? know, but this is the thing. When you watch the show, you know that they're a couple. Because he does that, claim her. That yeah. He claims her. They kiss, they hold hand. When he gets up to do his speech, he talks about he, he she's right there by his side. Right. He she hugs, she kisses. So and, and then she asked him on the show, she said, she said to him, When was the last time you've been with a cis cisgender woman? Mm -hmm. Like when was the last time that you've been with a cisgender woman? And he thought about it because the last show, on the last season, season or something. He was with another trans woman. And so she was, she just, he, and so I just was like, what, what, to, for me, mm -hmm. what do you want him to do? What, what do you want him to do? Pacify her insecurities. Because that's so really what, words, that's, say, that's really what it gets down yeah. to. In other words, say, this is my girl. And she's trans. Yeah. Because, okay, perfect example. Because she said, like, Where's the clip? Can we play it in the background? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's in. It's, it's in, in Instagram. Wanna, Instagram. I, I, cause oh, it's in our Instagram. Go in the Instagram thing that we have. It should in your thing, Madison. Yeah, if the I one that's connected to the. If speaker. I see it before you, I'll send it to you. Yeah, period. because you know. Hmm. Uh, you want me to find it? Yeah, fine. I send it to me, Craig, because. I think it's in our text messages, to be honest with you. I remember seeing it in this. Oh, here it is. Okay. Send it to me. Um, airdrop it to me. Oh, shit. I just sent it to your Instagram. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, so let's play it. This is straight black couple. Hold on, hold on. People love a cis straight black couple. But if I'm attracted to women, don't that make me straight too? Trans women are women. Exactly. But when was the last time you were with a cis woman? But I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Okay, come on. Because so she said, well, why can't you just let people know that you're in a relationship with a trans relationship? I mean, trans woman. But then if he was going around announcing it, and then then she'd be like, well, why you gotta tell everybody? Kind of like the other week when Mo introduced exactly when Mo exactly. introduced when Mo introduced or not introduced, but when Mo was talking yes. to the movers or whatever, <laughs> and he said, oh, she's trans. <laughs> Which you had no business pouring right, on my right. motherfucking so, yes. so, so You had no if, business pouring so on my motherfucking chain like that. Right. Like he should have pouring her teeth. Right. So but this, I don't, but here's the thing. She wants that. I, it's, it's, I'm, it's just so... Child, ain't nobody got time for all like this is my <laughs> this is my girl and that's, that's it. it. Like that's how I feel. That's it. But here's the, but I but I'm one trans person that feels this way. Correct, correct. And she's another trans correct. person that, that feels, feels that way, way and that has another and that has another tone, another story 
you know, to that. I just don't think that you have to share all of that. And it's not yeah. because she's trans and it needs to be a secret. It's like, what if there was an infidelity in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Every time they introduce, they got to say, oh, yeah, you know, she cheated once or... Like, some things need to stay in the relationship. Yeah. And I think that falls under, this is our business. You Like, you don't, t I don't believe that you tell your friends and family about every single twist and turn that your relationship takes. Because mm -hmm. what will happen is, when you tell your friends and family about the bad shit that you encounter in the relationship, mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. that's going to slant their perception of your partner. Mm -hmm. I totally because what happens is, we only I go totally and share agree. the shit that fucks us up. We don't ever. We don't really go and share the shit that oh it was so great. He did this. He did. That. We don't go with all of the highlights. We only go with the shit that's fucked up. And then they looking at your partner like, why is she he with this motherfucker? Like, you yeah, know what I mean? I so I totally agree. Not everybody needs to know what's going on in your life. Right. I mean, this is I, our juke joint. Right. <laughs> but I understand. I I get it from both. From, yeah. yeah from like both she's like, okay, well I'm trans, so why are you not? Why are you not? Right. Acknowledging that, like, why are you not saying that I'm trans? Like, why, why are you, why, why do you not? Well, can I, can I uh, get do a little devil's advocate? Come on. All right. So, in the case of that, I would say, trans women are women, right? Right. Can we all agree on that? Trans women are trans women. But I'm saying, like, they're they're underneath. We the, fall under the women the umbrella, women, yes. Right. But so, why does it matter? As long as you, as long as everybody acknowledges that this person is a woman, why does it matter if, if, if people acknowledge if they're trans or not? As long as you, as long as you uh, present her with her proper pronouns and you treat her as such, why does it matter? Because I would think, well, 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 she's for representation. Right, and, but see, that's what I'm saying. I think that her pushing for that is kind of tied to her own work and healing on herself you understand what i'm saying because i believe it's queer people whether you trans or gay or bi or whatever i think that's lifelong work yeah, that you have Boone to do dynamite says because representation matters Correct. i get i get it yeah yeah and you know and he's public office yeah he is public office and uh -huh. so because he's public office you know she's like okay you now that you're public office you're running for councilman or whatever it is that you are. But then what if you, that, you're representing the people? So so. But then what if the people don't vote for him because of that? I mean, you can risk that as well. Right, but girl, you my you my girl. Why I gotta risk that? You know we together. I'm introducing you up here at this pulpit pulpit with me. <laughs> Why the fuck I got to let them know that you trans? He said pulpit. Well, especially especially well, at this podium. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck they speaking at. Well, especially. <laughs> Especially when you roll it down and you boil it down to the way that people want us to be ostracized, yeah, removed completely, and uh, uh, put in a corner that's like completely separated from all communities, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Completely separated from all communities, and then not only just separated from all communities, but not have any having any rights for any fucking thing mm -hmm. you feel me uh -huh. and so come on hold on oh, no that's why that's why i put my head down because i want you to complete your, your thoughts not yeah. having rights they don't want us in certain things but here's i am not opposed to trans people having their own space in certain things especially like sports girl sound like we getting into fact talk. It's, it does seem oh, like we get into do we need to we about to <laughs> well, let's get into some fact talk honey run it mo right yes and you do know that fags mean popular hot ass gossip that's right yeah. it's a homonym it's right popular hot ass gossip and we're too Popular hot ass gossipers. gossipers. Bitch, when them hoes get on those large platforms, on those breakfast clubs, and on, and on those DL Hughley shows that reach men's feet, you fucking right, I'm gonna re. Hold on, I gotta make sure I get the right sign created for you, cause I'ma have girl fuck them signs. I'ma have you repeat that. <laughs> if that was written, nobody can write shit for motherfucking me, ho. They might can write, they may write on that Instacart app that you go in and pick up those eggs, those apples, and those grapes, bitch, and you drop it off to their motherfucking door. They may write that on the app so that you can. Do that. Hey y'all, this is T.S. Madison. We need you to come out and join us for some good old hot nasty fun for the Maddie in the Morning Show live at the City Winery. And baby, listen, it is going to be lit. <laughs> Ooh, 
And oh, honey, ain't no Maddie in the morning show live, live without some good old nasty fag talk. Ain't that right, Craig? You better know it, bitch. Get over to fagtalk.com and get your tickets. You can get the tickets for the April 24th show, May 22nd, June 19th, July 5th, or August 14th. Or come to all of the motherfuckers. That's what you got to do, honey. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. But that counts. The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some fact talk. <laughs> you met me as, as me. Yes. Ooh, yes. Yes. Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes! This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular hot ass gossiper. Oh, honey. I was born a fag. So are you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. Say it again. I am rich. You're what? That's right, girl. T H A G. Popular, hot ass, gospel. Hey, that's right. I'm rich. I mean. Sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. And that is yeah, yeah. Not the other one. But that counts. Hey girl, what is this plum burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes. Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes. Girl, what is this plum burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 
And oh honey, ain't no Maddie in the morning show live, live without some good old nasty fag talk. Ain't that right, Craig? You better know it, bitch. Get over to fagtalk.com and get your tickets. You can get the tickets for the April 24th show, May 22nd, June 19th, July 5th, or August 14th. Or come to all of the motherfuckers. That's what you gotta do, honey. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. But that counts. Girl, what is this, Paul Burgundy or what? This is 99J. Hi there, Nightwing son. And somebody came on my Instagram the other day and was like, he meant he meant an acronym. No, actually, I meant a homonym. What you mean? I meant a homonym. But it is also an acronym as well. Popular hot ass gossiper. Yes, God. Fag. But it's a it's a homonym because Well, it's break a it word. down, Craig, because you got your right. come on, break it down. Right. A homonym is a word that sounds alike, it's spelled differently, and it has different meanings. Yes. Mm. So it's actually both. It's a homonym and it's an acronym. Please don't try to correct me, people. <laughs> Craig, let them know you have your HSBC. I do. HS. <laughs> Somebody came on my Instagram last week talking about he meant an acronym. No, I meant what I said. But it's also it, but it is also an acronym. It is. It's both. Anyway, how y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> how y'all doing? Did y'all miss us? <laughs> y'all were tearing my Instagram up. And one more thing my lawyers want me to say, right. <laughs> CraigTheWriterStewart.com is not for you to be messaging me stories, talking about, oh, y'all need to talk about this. Uh-uh, we got this. We did not ask for story submissions. <laughs> when you go over to CraigTheWriterStewart.com, you are going there to purchase one or all four of my books or to sign up for Patreon or something or to get tickets for Fag Talk. Hold on, wait a minute. They all over my website talking about, uh, can you put this in? Uh-uh, that is for you to purchase books. <laughs> It is there to purchase books. Don't be going over there clogging up my inbox. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? We got so much to talk about today. So much. But I got a dinner party at my house tonight, so I can't be here too late. You can't. Uh-uh. And you got stuff to do, too. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So... Ooh. Yes. We want to talk about, like, we left off and we were talking about um, the uh, shy. The shy. We were talking about the shy. Mm -hmm. But then after we were talking about the shy, we were talking about how people want to ostracize and how they, oh, let me move this. I don't want this to really be in the way. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there it is. <laughs> um, and so we... Jamie, I said it's an acronym and it's a homonym. Girl, go look up the words, girl. Don't try to keep correcting me in these comments. So we were talking about the way that uh, black people and kind of like the way blacks and, and stuff really wants to ostracize the girls and want to peel the girls, you know, the cap back. cap back because, you know, we're the fags and, and trainees and dykes and whatever it is. So mm -hmm. recently we just watched a, a, a thing Mo, I'd like for you to play play the thing. All right, here we go. Aiden Van Der yeah. And seven for Bergen Episcopal, Abby Olson. Out very well is Gallagher and McDaniel in lane two. We're going to see Gallagher later on in the relays. Great knees, great drive. Gallagher, the victory here in section number one. 25-49. Second and Wilson in 30-77. Third Sky Spurs in 31-31. Fourth and Messiel. So Boosie, did you put what Boosie said? No, I just finished the video right now. Okay, so Boosie said this. Y'all know how Boosie spell. You know we had a spell off. <laughs> oh. Remember, remember when me and Boosie had our mm -hmm. spell off? It says... Y'all need to take your... What? Come on, Craig, help us. Y'all need, need to take, take y'all in. Make y'all in, make in a on, only. On school. On, on, on gyms. On, on, I'm going to read it how he got okay, it. Okay, read it, Craig. But you know what he's trying oh, to say. I don't know what the nigga trying to say. You know Craig, what he's trying to say? 
<laughs> you what, know what he said. What, what he wrote was, Craig, read that. y'all need to take y'all in, make y'all on league, on schools, on gyms. <laughs> sick, of, sick of y'all doing this to girls who have worked. Read it, Craig. Is, he's that, trying is to, that an acronym? He's trying to say hard. Oh, okay. They whole lives to be successful. You trannies. That, uh -huh. would, be, that well, would be you. He, he got that right. Though. Right. You now, trannies. Now he spelled that right. <laughs> he spelled that because right. If you put it in Google, all the trannies come up. Uh huh. So we know he knew how to spell that. Well, technically, he should have turned that Y into an I E S. He could have, but that's the nigga way to do it. Right, right. Yeah. You trannies need your own everything. Parents need to boycott at the White House and stop this. It's sick. It's not fair at all. They need Transformer University <laughs> in... He spelled that right. He did, because he knows the trains work. <laughs> in, in, right. He has those together. Right. Uh, in Trans High, soon they, gonna they go have oh. women yeah. college teams with all trannies sad. Okay, girl, I think I got a headache. I don't know if it's the alcohol or that. <laughs> well, girl, we got good alcohol. We drank. Yeah, we got good alcohol today. Oh, uh, we always have good alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that is the story, girl. I, I'm gonna hate to say this, but there are there are some sentiments of that that I agree. I I I think that we we should have our own certain things. Okay. I feel that we should have our own sports. We should have our own leagues. We should have our own teams. We should have these things. So now when we were talking about this earlier, my question to you was, it was more rhetorical, but are there enough trans athletes in different categories to be able to create a whole team though? Okay, well, here's the thing. With, with the way that we are uh, coming into ourselves and we are coming more out and more people are finding themselves falling under the non-binary the, the the trans category mm -hmm. the the lbgt how many people are identifying okay i see people are saying there isn't enough trans people there but kano there is but there are not enough people i'm talking about athletes though there, i think there are enough trans people Moving through the world, but you ain't no athlete. Hey, bitch, I can whoop ass though. <laughs> so I can you, whoop ass. So you going to go with the MMA bag? Bitch, I can whoop ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then and I then, can whoop. Hold on, because <laughs> I know there's a lot of bitches watching. Uh -huh. I can whoop ass. I can shoot. Uh, Maddie, that's uh, not a sport though. It, it will be <laughs> with a with a motherfucker that need to be shot. <laughs> bitch, I can whoop ass. <laughs> Unless you're talking about boxing or MMA. I can whoop not, ass. Not, that's not a sport. Or whatever. <laughs> I can get in the paint. But see, I predict what's going to happen. But you're not talking about basketball. Oh. But, but, if, but what happens is, and I, I can already see this happening. If they did create sports for trans, <laughs> let's say they had uh, oh. trans um, running. What's that shit called? Uh, track, track and field. field. Track and field. If track they got into field. track and field, if they got into wrestling and whatever else mm -hmm. then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have trans people saying uh-uh she ain't trans she non-binary she don't really count <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be all of that bullshit that could that could happen okay then the, then the trans girls gonna turn on the non-binaries okay the them and days okay that could happen they don't belong here <laughs> <laughs> They don't belong here. Which they? Which <laughs> them? They, which they are you talking about? Them. <laughs> them. Them non-binary girls. Them non-binary children. But we is transmission fluid. Correct. I don't think honestly that there's anything wrong with it. Well, and, well, because there's not enough. I mm -hmm. see the people in the comments saying that there's not enough. Yeah, just, just like feel like full sports teams, and I'm talking, and I'm not just talking about one particular sport. I'm just saying sports across the board. You right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that would be the the, the biggest dilemma. Uh, somebody said the w, w NBA started with eight teams. Started with eight true. teams. Which is true. Okay. I mean, started. I don't know how none of that shit go more. You more of an expert because I hear your ESPN and your <laughs> and your other apps go off well, all day over well, here. Well, no, and your other apps always <laughs> going off over there. What are the other apps? What are the other apps, Maddie? Because I'm confused too. <laughs> 
<laughs> what does it sound like? <laughs> that's, a vi- that's vibration. That's vibration, man. Is that is that Bumble? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm, I'm not on any dating app. Oh, you're not. I'm not on any dating app. You're not gonna find me. On oh, okay. Dating. Well, apparently I'm on something too, child. I didn't pop, popped up on some new app that I just found out about the other day. <laughs> if you see me on dating apps. That's not me. Really? I, right. That's not me. Okay, well, it's me. And I do I, the money that I the money that you've been requesting for the nudes, you know which app that I told you to send the money to. <laughs> the money that you've been requesting for the nudes, you know where to send it. I'm, I'm telling just, you, you know where it goes. Just send my 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 uh my rate though. Just send my, my portion of the <laughs> Maybe. But uh maybe you use my picture. You just denied it wasn't you. <laughs> How do they know it? Well, see, I told y'all I had it. I told you niggas I had the picture. I am dropped it to myself. <laughs> and the video. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That is too funny. Uh, um, I don't want to be some type of way because, you know, I'm, I'm just over it. Uh, with the way that this big thing is about the way trans are. Mm-hmm. I'm not into sports. That's not my thing. I, mm-hmm. I will battle if I need to. Mm-hmm. If I'm ever <laughs> tried, bitch, or ever tested <laughs> in a space where I got the motherfucking UFC or whatever the fuck it is, I'm with it. <laughs> but what's wrong with it? I, just like I'm not opposed to uh, uh, us having a bathroom. Mm-hmm. I think the easiest thing in terms of the bathroom thing, it would be easier just to just do. Um, and I saw this the other week. It would just be uh, unisex bathrooms, period. But they're individual stalls. I you know what I mean? They're closed off. I wouldn't trust individual. I wouldn't trust unisex. They bathrooms. actually have some already. Yeah, but the reason why, and the the reason why I say I wouldn't trust it isn't because of what people think. It's because of the. I'm gonna go way off. I'm gonna go way to left field, but it's because I think there are people out there that will take advantage of situations. Like well, that. of course. Like they, like I could, I could see, I could see like a heterosexual man claiming, which we've seen in in news, claiming that they are maybe non-binary or trans just to go into a I, bathroom. That that and, is true. And do some messed up stuff. That is true, but that's not always and, and a lot of that stuff is propaganda. Yeah. I do feel and a lot of that stuff is plants. Yeah. That I that I feel uh have tried to especially now we're in election mm-hmm. in election time. I do feel that that's heavily, you know, and and they know that those are ploys that are put there to help uh uh, in the fear mongering, right? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, but what's wrong? I'd like to ask the trans people, <clears throat> what is wrong with us having our own bathroom? Because I'm gonna go to any one of the motherfuckers, the male, well, the you know female, what I, you, the <laughs> transgender, the, the family room. Which what, you've done? I, I, you know I do it, Mo. Would that, that women's bathroom be long? I'm, I'm, like, like, oh, that I'm shit. like, what you? Uh, okay, my <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Bitch, because it's the pee. Right? <laughs> Better be like, fuck that shit. Fuck that. I don't think it would be a problem for trans... Well, I don't think it would be a problem having the bathrooms. I think what happens is if we started having bathrooms that are specifically trans, it could... It needs to just say gender neutral. Correct. That's because, what it needs to say. Because if it says something like trans or something like that, then you may have people that might start attacking people. They looking at them going to right. that bathroom. Or... You may have girls who haven't fully transitioned, or even if they do fully tra- transition, they may not want everybody to know they trans because they going in that bathroom. You know True. what I mean? Yeah. Like you got folk who are positive, who Girl. don't all listen. No, I'm just I'm making a point. Who are positive, <laughs> who don't like to go and get their treatment because the people know that this is the place that you go to get your tic tacs. So a lot of times people won't go and get treatment. They have free HIV drugs, but a lot of people won't even go and get it because they don't want to be seen in those spaces. Even though you can get your 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 Tic Tacs mailed mailed to you in the mail. 
Okay, we understand all that, but at the end, but a lot. Well, of, I don't like the way you just did. No, because, that. Craig, because I, Craig, we gonna be on this for weeks. No, again. I was just trying to. I was just trying to draw a comparison. We gonna be on this shit for weeks. It's the same thing. We gonna be on this shit for weeks. Oh my god. Well, girl, at least they'll get off you with that bigo bigo shit. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck nothing about that because I can meet a bitch in the, in their face that feels some type of way. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Well, I, I can't really meet them in, in their face because we don't occupy some of the same stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, now go ahead. What were you going to say? Craig, see how you cooked that instead of got me back in there? I had left that. I had left that alone. You yes. just cranking me with that. Go ahead. Go on now, Craig. Well, no, I'm just saying, I just think that, so for example, somebody said earlier that they, that's only like that in the clubs where you have the unisex bathrooms, but it's not. There are certain airports. In fact, there was some um, white woman who's in, uh, I don't remember what her role is. She might be in Congress, but her video went viral because she was actually in a bathroom, um, with the, which was unisex. It was at an airport mm -hmm. and the whole bathroom, it was, a, it was beautiful. But it was these small, it was these individual stalls and they had locks on them. You know what I mean? And the only thing that was um, communal was where you washed your hands. I mean, it was perfect. Okay. Yeah, it was Kansas City Airport. Thank you. Somebody else saw that. All right. So here's the thing. Mo, remember when we were out of the country? Remember when we were in Europe? Yeah. And we went to eat. Yes. <clears throat> and Craig, you were just in Europe. In France, because mm -hmm. you're rich, punk. No, no, no. <laughs> I was over there on the grant. Oh, that's what you're calling it? All right. Well, I'm rich. <laughs> and so I was in France because I was rich, and I was on vacation, and we're going to do South Africa the year after next. Uh huh. But that's another story. Uh huh. But I'm rich. And so we were in, <laughs> we were in the United Kingdom. Uh, where were you, girl? United Kingdom. Were we in the UK? Yeah. yeah. No, no. I no, was no, in the, no. No, I was in the UK for work because I hosted a show called Yeah, Bring yeah. Back. That, was, that was when I, we got I, back. I, I host a show for VH1, right, Viacom. Right, right. It's called Bring Back My Girls. Uh-huh. For Viacom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and I was in Europe for that. <laughs> but I was in Europe for something else. Uh-huh. For the, the the other thing that we were do, we do whatever, mm -hmm. Mo, you were there. Yes, I was. And um, <laughs> we went to the bathroom, <laughs> and when we got into the bathroom, it was just like unisex, right? And that's what somebody in the comments said. It's been like that. And I was just like, me and Legger was in the bath walking in the bathroom, and so the dude was in there washing his hands, and they walked past, and we walked. We just walked. We was looking like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> I think we make such a big deal about that here. But then also you got to tie in. Did somebody say for which company? For Viacom. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tie wait, in. Wait, wait. For which company, sir? Viacom. <laughs> for Viacom. The one that I got this thing from for. <laughs> Viacom. <laughs> I'm sorry. You asked. Uh, um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, okay. I think ahead. when we have issues like that with like bathrooms and stuff like that here, and it's not that way in Europe, certain parts of Europe, and don't think that they don't have biases because biases because they do. Um, but I think it's because we're so quote unquote tied into religion in this country. It's interesting how religion plays such a part in everything here, mm -hmm. but it's some of the most evil and nasty people in this country. When you look at the division between communities, whether it's race or sexuality or whatever it's like you all claim to be so religious and so you know tied to god but but then you're able to do all of this stuff in your everyday life so i think that's part of it where over there they don't get into all of that yeah i think over there they're not really big on like they don't make a big issue on sexuality or uh gender identity and stuff now racism mm -hmm. yeah if we want to talk about racism over mm -hmm. there, yeah, it's real big. Oh, over for there. sure. Yes, because we definitely experience it. <laughs> right. Because as dark as Mo is, you know, <laughs> and the way that they fetish men so dark mm -hmm. over there, he couldn't even get a cab. <laughs> and we were walking down the fucking street and trying to get a cab. And what, what, which part of Spain was it? Ibiza no, or Barcelona? It was Barcelona, no, Barcelona and Ibiza too, right? 
No, was it? Bar- it- Ibiza was better than Barcelona, though. Ibiza was way better than Barcelona. Mm-hmm. Barcelona is actually very known for being, uh, being a racist. It was so. It was insane. Yeah. Like we, I, I stopped the cab and I was like, they asked, I finally stopped one after about 30 minutes. They said, how many of you? Yeah, we couldn't get one for well, two well, hours. Well, where was Jameson? Oh, he, he wasn't, wasn't with us. Oh, okay. I was going to say, somebody should have sent her out there to get the cab. <laughs> Jameson doesn't have a passport. Was, but once I told them, I said, I said, there's that about a good. It was. Oh, that was I, I told them. Because I'll be in, I'll actually be in um, Canada tomorrow working for Viacom. Oh, yeah, and I, oh, and I'll be here. You'll be there, but I'll be I'll be working for Viacom again in Canada. You see, and I'm not going to be there. It's okay, but I'll bring you home something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not being arrogant. I'm just pointing out the facts that I'll be I'll be in a, Canada. Oh, excuse me. Well, it's the Canadian Viacom, mm-hmm. but I'll be there. Well, I know mm-hmm. you'll be getting some bacon. Yes, <laughs> I'll most definitely be there getting Canadian bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and so I won't be able to be on YouTube or social media because I'll be collecting definitely that. Definitely not be there. Craig, stop it. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with motherfucking Beagle. Those girls make a coin over there oh. on Beagle. Dear Lord. They do. <laughs> I just make more. But let's go. <laughs> I knew that wasn't the end. I knew, of but you know. I knew. <laughs> now I wasn't fucking with them people, Craig. I wasn't fucking with them. We was talking about the Chinese. <laughs> the what? The Chinese. Girl, how many syllables? <laughs> and how they motherfucking done implemented the shit and then they put TikTok over fucking here <laughs> and started fucking with everybody. They got all the people over there doing the, the TikTok, everybody TikTok dancing and shit. <laughs> and I'm not even on TikTok. And quiet as it's kept, I'm not even on TikTok and my impressions reached hundreds of millions. Yeah. So even if I go somewhere and I'm not even there, my presence makes the noise. Mm-hmm. Because I am who? T.S. Madison, bitch. But we talked about that shit. That's, that was cyber war. It is, it's been that. Yeah. And, and you want to know, you want to B100, the warfare started with Atari. The game? Bitch. All them niggas sat down there. They had, bitch, everybody had a joystick. Then it went from. Was it a white man that created Atari? Listen, come on. We talking about, listen, hold up. Bitch, the Xbox came. You couldn't tell a nigga from an Xbox. No, it was the PlayStation. And the PlayStation. You couldn't tell yeah. niggas from that. Had hey, niggas fucking up their TVs with the it's, remote control. It's <laughs> all, it, it has always been. It has always been. Technolo- technology. Technology. And it's always. that, And that was my point. Mm-hmm. We've been infiltrated this way to have our minds thrown completely off. Mm-hmm. From being focused on stuff, bitch, nigga, them niggas ain't trying to get, ain't trying to get smart. They ain't trying to go down to HSBC like you did. Miss Gladys was never finna let you have no ex, no PlayStation or no ex. Bitch, you better go to school. Put that goddamn game down and get in them books. Mm-mm. Right or wrong? That's right. Cause I definitely had me a super. Uh, what was it called? PlayStation. I had a PlayStation growing up. Yeah, yep. but you had, but you had to turn that motherfucking place. It's niggas that sit on that shit all day. Well, fuck, suck, and then get back on the PlayStation. <laughs> okay. Or, or however it go. We'll, 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 we'll fuck, suck, first PlayStation. Or PlayStation first, you, then fuck, suck. If, if you're not making money from it, there's no reason why you should be on it all day. If you're not making money from it, because there are people that, that, do, do that, play, that do play PlayStation and all that, that they actually make a lot of money from it. But if mm. you're not, there's no reason for you to be on that thing 24-7. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have a PlayStation, but it's not... But it's not that I play it all the time. It's, it's something that I use. It's something that I play like that helps me like relax and clear my day, like clear my mind from all the. Have you ever played war games on there? I used to, but I don't anymore. Mm-hmm. The only I only, like the only thing I play on there is because I'm African. I play soccer games. That's about it. It's called football. You're right, but for I those that are not. No, international. No, no. We got smart people. Don't be trying to. No, I'm saying for those don't, that are not be, international. They ain't, got, they ain't got to be international. <laughs> don't be trying to dumb out people that they know the fuck soccer. <laughs> but, but if they, I say football, they might think I'm talking about NFL. No, no, no. 
No, no, no. They know that, that you from Africa and y'all call foot, y'all call soccer football. No, no, no. Foot, foot, football, football. Really? Like, no? Football. Okay. But I only play like it's just something to unwind. Like the end of the day, before I go to sleep, I might play for like an hour, hour and a half before I go before I actually go to sleep, and then that's it. But to sit down and just be playing video games at the age of 36 from sun up to sundown. No, I can't do that. God That's forbid. a motherfucker that ain't got no job. God but forbid. they but this but again, this it assisted in that. Like come on. I mean, you're right. I'm not, I'm not and and, and here's right. the thing. I'm not saying anything that's that's so that's so far-fetched. Mhm. And it's the same thing I said. It's this what they did to us with these apps because we're so we're embedded in these apps. Well, well that's social media. Period. Period. But the, but the ones that were specifically made from the Chinese. From the who girl? The Chinese. <laughs> That's why they're trying to ban TikTok. Uh, right. Because the Americans can't ain't got no control over it. But right. Now, now that, if it was an American control, that would have been different story. Correct. Now I do, even though I said that's why they're trying to ban it, I think there's a lot of bullshit behind it too. I do think that, that that's a that's a real threat that it's one hundred percent owned by a Chinese company. And they can pull. There can be data breaches and all that kind of shit. But my, especially when you get to uh, selling shit on a TikTok shop, you got to give everything but your damn blood type over there. <laughs> but I do think that U.S. government doesn't like the fact that so many people—black, white, whatever, gay, straight, whatever—have started to mobilize and really bring real issues. They've really started to use. TikTok, not just for TikTok dances and the eight count and all that other shit, but they have really started to galvanize on there and like brought real issues to the surface. Uh, Forever Maya said, if it was a, if America controlled it, it wouldn't be so lucrative. It, it, correct. You're right. But I that's why, agree. again, right. that's why Bigo was very Bigo is very lucrative. You said it is. It is very lucrative. Oh. It is very lucrative over there, especially to people that is, that have never made. Twenty-four thousand or thirty-two thousand dollars a month. There's for people that have never made that. That is extremely lucrative. Because bitch, when I was when I was not in the pay, in, in in the tax bracket that I'm in now, uh -huh. and twenty-four thousand dollars or thirty-two thousand dollars a month was a lot. Bitch, those are my regular. Bitch, my one of my mortgages is ten thousand fucking dollars. Okay, so bitch, come on. So that is a lot of money to some people that are there, especially that will get in there and, and, and that's, and they focus and they channel and they put all their energy. That is a lot of money, right. bitch, a lot, a shitload of money. Mm -hmm. So you say, so how is Beagle different from Zeus network? Um, none. <laughs> it's no different. What's the difference? I talked the same way about Zeus. Mm -hmm. I said the Zeus, uh, Lemmy took the power. They took the power from the VH1 folk, the white folks from VH1, and they, they just moved the seat over. Mm. All they wanted to move, they wanted to move the crocker out, the way. out of the seat and sit there. So didn't didn't want to make no changes to it. Didn't want it. They just wanted to be in control of it, mm -hmm. and because they were in control of it, you know, you would think that there would be some changes made, but it wasn't. And hey, we like we as people have been conditioned to consume trash, and and find that any anything that's educational for us or anything that's that that's uplift us is boring. It's late. It's tired. I don't want to mm -hmm. watch that. I need to see a bottle come across a bitch head. I need to see somebody be stabbed. I need to be. I need exposés. I need to be people camping outside. I because I need to be in the mess because people are going to be there in the mess, and this this is where they're going to be in the droves. Mm -hmm. And then you know what they do? They they have shows. Bitch, I'm I'm pulling out a T now. Mm -hmm. They have shows like RuPaul's Drag Race that sits there in in the slots, get all the good views, get all the good stuff, and those are the shows that actually people are buying advertisement spots, and they use all the mess, all the messy shit, to bring the viewers there, and the viewers that stay and are interested in buying, they buy through RuPaul's Drag. This is why we are. This is why we're on season seven, fucking team. 
and all the countless spinoffs and bring back my girls and all this stuff because people are buying into that. People are, this is where the, this is where the money is funneled. The money's funneled through there. Mm -hmm. And once the money's funneled through there, the real advertisers that are spending millions of dollars, we're not talking about hundreds of thousands. <laughs> right. We're talking about the ones that are spending millions of dollars during those slots, mm -hmm. during those spaces, that's where they are spending the millions of dollars. You may get a, you may get a love and hip hop advertisement. Probably they got a good ad through it here and there, get a good little spot right here. But the advertisers that are coming back to really spend money are during those RuPaul Drag Race hour and that fucking, uh, 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 what's the one I do after the uh, untucked? Like they spending money through these things because this is where the people that are coming, it's just like world star. Mm -hmm. It's people that are on that are on World Star right now. Since we're talking about views, mm -hmm. world people that are on World Star get World Star views, millions and millions of views. But do you even remember anything? Does it count for anything? Right. Like when people be telling me about how how I get this amount of views and they get this, I'm like, you're likening me to a World Star view. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows those people on World Star. We could just talk about the video. Right. In this space, they're talking yeah. about the person. Which is the TS, bitch. Don't get mad at me because these are facts. Mm -hmm. Don't be angry with me because these are facts. World Star is racist just like Atlanta Scoop. Those of you that follow that. Well, Atlanta Scoop is owned by, by white people. Oh, I know. So wait, is at World Star owned by white people too? I don't know who owns World well, Star. Well, what about Vlad TV? That's, yeah, that's a, whole, that's a whole white man right there. And the funny thing was that re I, I, sometime this year he was he was going after somebody for using. Somebody black says I'm going to swing that topic back to me. Yes, because this is the T.S. Madison channel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is T.S. Madison presents Maddie in the Morning presenting Fag Talk. <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for being here on my funny, on my platform. And the thing about Vlad, <laughs> the thing about Vlad was that with Vlad. Vlad made his whole come up on black people. Yeah. And then he turned around and started getting on somebody else for doing the exact same thing. Mm hmm. Child. Listen. Okay. Again, let's circumvent this back to what we were talking about with, with Boosie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. There, people were waiting on me to drag him by that. And I actually was like, uh, now putting us out of, now taking us away from, us needing us to have our own school, our own bathroom. Bath. Well, bath. Mm. School. It's the school part for me. It's it's really. the school. It's all that type of stuff. Like we don't need to be educated with everybody else. We need to have this shit over here. We don't need to be in the same. Like I can't. We need. To, we 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 don't need to be at the HSBC. You whatever colleges because we're training. And see, I feel slightly differently because I think that that's, I think segregating in that way. I, I think that trans people or queer people should be socialized. We see the Nigerian comment, but we don't have to stay there. I'm just saying. Thank I, you. I, I, what do you mean? It was just up there for like five seconds. It's been there too long. Really? Oh, so you see prejudice. I might be. See, I told you. You don't have prejudiced. to stay there that long in that. Well, well, well the, owner of <laughs> the, the owner of Shade Room is prejudiced against black people, American <laughs> blacks. And trainees. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> yes, really. I'm not going to say prejudice. I'll say he knew. Uh, I'll say he wants to make a lot of money. She. Oh, she. It's a woman. Oh, I didn't know. I just know. I do. Oh, okay. I wore her ass out before. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I would say like I don't know. Uh, so we don't need to keep that up there that long. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Excuse me. I don't know if I would talk about segregating. Now, when we were talking, excuse me, about this yesterday or today or whenever it was, I do think it was today. It was today. Mm -hmm. I do think that there should like when when you had sex education in elementary school or mm -hmm. middle school, whenever you had it. I do think, and this is where I said I know a lot of parents wouldn't like this, but I do think that. When we start talking about sex education, it should be tailored to humanity in general. So, like, I think there should be conversations around gay sex. I think there should be stuff that uh, 
lends itself to transsexuality and all that kind of stuff. And, or either maybe it's some sort of a class that the queers are excused to so they can learn their stuff. I don't know. I just kind of feel like when you start separating it, though, it kind of suggests or sends the message that, oh, no, you all don't need to learn this. Let them go over there. It almost yeah, kind of separates it. I and, I, and you know what I mean? It kind of makes them feel ostracized in some kind of way. But I Who's think that them? the but, straights. Oh, the straights. And the parents oh. of okay. those kids. Because you're going to have those parents that are going to be like, uh-uh, I don't want Because you got parents that don't even want their kids to get sex education. Okay. And, and if, if we're going to say that, then I'm, I'm with that. If, if your stance is you don't want your kids learning about sex, I'm all right with that. But when it comes down to uh, about learning about sexuality in general, like in totality... I was forced to learn about well that's my point straight right. sex i don't and I, I was forced excuse me mo i know they did this in africa too no, i was no, forced to learn know. about straight sex mm -hmm. and i'm sitting over there in my skin in my body in my beings like i don't want no pussy mm -hmm. i don't want to have i'm not a dyke so why mm -hmm. do I have to keep learning about this? Like, cause I'm not gonna lay on top of. This is not the way I'm gonna lay on top of a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Funny enough, they never did. That. They never did that uh, in Nigeria. Like, what? They, they told. They taught you about anatomy, but they never. They you never had any sex education in Nigeria. You didn't. No. So you didn't learn how to put the condom on. <sighs> oh, that's why y'all don't it's wear it's any. It's, 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 you know, it was instinctual. Oh, that's why. It's instinctual. Oh, that's what? why y'all. Oh, that's so. Why reason. isn't it instinctual here? Well, they're in mean? Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, what, you, what I hear you saying is, no, no they're using no, condoms in Nigeria, but they're no, not using them here. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Please, Maddie, why are you putting words in my mouth? I didn't put anything in your I'm mouth. Just, I said words, though. I just said words. I'm just letting you know that I didn't put anything in your mouth. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just <laughs> listen. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. No, that's not true. <laughs> There, no condoms are. You should use those all the time. No, you uh, should. You should use those. But all in the time. sex education, they teach you to use condoms. Yes, put, they do. They teach you in sex ed. Well, in commercials, they teach you to use condoms. Also, you you remember in back in the day? I don't know about now because I don't really watch TV like yeah, that. Yeah, you know what you talking about back then. Back. Okay. I'm not talking about like way back then. No, I'm we talking, talking about back then when you were when, when you were younger. Because <laughs> you're not that young. But come on. <laughs> I'm just saying they used to teach you like, hey, wrap it up, strap up. All Apollo, that type of go stuff. away from me with all of this. <laughs> it's true. If Apollo, <laughs> go away from me with all of this. Please, <laughs> get my children out of here. Please. <laughs> <laughs> they did used to do Bro, those commercials. Get my, girl, get my children out of here. <laughs> <laughs> But it has nothing to do with me being African or that I was in Africa that I could, that I use condoms. I use condoms. There's nothing wrong with using condoms, especially when you don't want kids. And that's all? Just kids? And right. The, and, and the diseases. Oh, here we go. And but the diseases. See, this is how we know he's straight. Because <laughs> the first thing on the straight mind is kids. It's well, not, because I... It's because, not the S, the T, or the D. Well, because if I'm using condoms... the S, the T, well, or the I. I'm, it's the no, kid. The fact is, because if you're using condoms, and this if you're is using why, condoms, and you honey, don't have to worry about the And honey, stuff. this is why they got to run those prep commercials through all the straight <laughs> shows through, too. No, it, it would be this different. This is exactly why no, you have to run that's those not, prep commercials through well, yeah. the straight... No, no, that's true. Through the straight kid, too. That should not be segregated. That should not be segregated. This is exactly I don't want to see. I don't want to be watching Drag Race and then 50 minutes every 15 minutes heck of a motherfucking HIV commercial. I want to be watching the same commercial when I watch Love and Hip Hop because it seemed like they only run the gay, the the HIV commercials and uh, all that kind of stuff on gay programs. Bitch. Uh, first of all, the reason I said first thing that popped in my mind was child was because if you're wearing condoms, I don't believe you have to really worry about STDs unless you're doing something wrong. Unless you're doing something wrong. Where well, you do know that when, if you have a herpes on your lip. Correct. If you have a herpes on your lip. Yeah, that could be transferred. Of and, course. and there's also crabs. The, yes. Of course, it could be transferred. And genital warts. Genital yes. warts. That, that condoms do not block, prevent, and herpes. I think you just educated him. I did. You did. Because he looks really bewildered. No, you, you're Because condoms right. do not prevent herpes and, and HPV. See how we got to educate you straights? Condoms don't prevent that. I'm not look. I'm 
I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not above. First, I'm not. First, a, I'm not above. First, look, first, first I'm not above. come out of that key. I'm, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not above. Don't be thinking that we're attacking you. We're not attacking you, Mo. Right. right. No, I'm just saying. Come out of that key. I'm not. No, I'm just saying. I'm not above learning something that I don't know. Okay. And I'll admit if I don't know something, I'm not going to argue. And that's why we love you because that's why we love you because you admitted that you didn't know. But we do. If because we are fags. If there are things I don't know, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to argue with you because we are fags and because they have always told us fags that we are going to have all of those things. All of those things. <laughs> the straights have told us all the fact that we're going to get all of those right. things. I'm just yeah, trying to if understand, if, 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 if if understand why he went up in that key. No, I'm just saying, if I don't know something... Mom, we're I'm right, right here. Gonna, calm down. Oh my calm, calm down. If I don't we're know right here. If I don't know something, I don't mind saying, oh, I didn't know that. I'm not going to Okay, well, I'm waiting know. for you to say that about this. What? About what? I didn't know that. I did say I didn't know. Oh, okay. I must have missed it when you got up in They say a lot of people didn't know that. Right. Uh, and definitely a lot of straights. <laughs> I didn't know. Because the only worry is children. <laughs> girl, we got to go to some other You're stores, right. girl. You know I got to go. Craig, I mean, we're in here. We're, this, this, this is definitely going to segue to the next thing. It always does. Uh, we're in here. We're in here. <laughs> so we're definitely going to segue into yes, the indeed. next thing. <laughs> yeah, we talked about the boosty. We talked about because the there's some things I definitely got to hit. Well, come on, let's hit it then. Hit even, it, even if I'm late for my own dinner party. But come on, let's hit it. <laughs> she said, "Tell her to get the cooking." Ah, let's get over here to Caitlyn Jenner. Oh yes, because we did, since Ooh. we're talking about trans transferring, uh huh, <laughs> transmitting, uh huh, oh, Lord. That, uh -huh. that bitch transmitted those girls to heaven. Oh, you mean these people? Yes. That bitch transmitted those girls up there to the next plane and got out of her motherfucker. Look at that car wrecked and smashed up like that girl. And she got her like, hi, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Oh, God, did they survive? <laughs> Wait, did they survive? Oh, shit, guys. Hold on. I got, a, I got an appointment with Vanity Fair. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. I'm getting ready for my television show. Hold on. Don't let this be a part of my TV show, guys. Hey. <laughs> And then got the nerve to fix her old wrinkly Janice Dickinson mouth up, and bitch, say and say this. <laughs> when OJ died. When OJ perished. That's when that's when Caitlyn tweeted. And she want to fix her motherfucking Janice Dickinson wrinkled up ass lips to say some shit like that. <laughs> that's a mess. When we act like we ain't forget that she ran out there and, and motherfucker killed those people out there in the car and ain't. And, and, and ain't get charged and ain't spend a dime on them people. Right. Down there on the uh uh on the Pacific Coast Highway. Bitch. Ain't 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 spend a dime ain't give them people family a quarter. Nothing. All all said was sorry. If she even said that. That girl I, I, I'm late to my nail appointment. <laughs> <laughs> so I say that boy is not gay. <laughs> Who are they talking about? I think they're talking about Caitlyn. No, they're talking about uh, NLE Chopper. We, oh, we talking oh, about. okay. Oh, well, we ain't even got to that. I know. Yeah. They, somebody wrote it down there. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And it, this is what I'm saying, I. Right. And you want to. Yes, we black people know OJ Simpson killed that white woman. We, sure, we certainly we did. That. Yeah, we all did. We knew that. We were just pulling for him. And if you asked me it today. Was, it was black against and, the, and be, the machine. That's right. And if you ask me today, did OJ do it? I'm going to say no. no. Right. <laughs> he did not do it. But in my heart, I know he did. <laughs> Or had something to do with it. Yes! <laughs> I don't believe that he was specifically put his hands in there and choked, stabbed, or, or whatever they did to the fucking two white but people. But he had a hand But in. he stood there and watched it be done. <laughs> Clear, period. But you know what happened? Just a little histor history. What happened was that O.J. Simpson verdict came on the heels of that Rodney King shit. After those police out there in California beat his ass up so badly, and then they got off, even though it was on video. Yes. A lot of black people didn't give a fuck if OJ killed the two of them people and nobody else. Correct. That's true. See, we old enough to know this. That's and true. so is Mo. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Just like he watched Challenger blow up on the TV. That's what <laughs> he did. With, with Christy McCullough. Bit, boom! I was like, ah! <laughs> I remember that. Bitch, I watched that Challenger explode. I was a child then. Right, but so you saw it. <laughs> so were we. And you saw it. But bitch, I watched, oh, you, watch, you damn sure watch OJ go down to one on one, bitch. I did. You watched that white Bronco, and I, and, and I always wanted a Bronco Speed because of that shit. Speed you better know it. Because that motherfucker was doing a million miles an hour when he they was, was running OJ down. 
Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. And not only that, don't quote me because I know the police in here, <laughs> but I think her name was Rakia Boyd, I think. But it was a young girl in California, in L.A. Um, she went into a, a little Korean-owned store. Um, let me say Asian. I, believe, I think she was Korean, though. And she went in there, and she went to buy, like, some milk or orange juice or something. And the Chinese lady or the Asian lady, the Korean lady, whatever she was, shot this girl in her head and killed her. All of that happened around the same time. It was that. It was the OJ. I mean, the... Um, the Rodney, Rodney King shit, yeah. and then OJ. So black people were pissed. Hot. Yeah. Hot. Because if you talk to any black person, every black person said, I know he did it, but Bitch. I want him to get off. And here's the thing. We watched them police officers beat Rodney King out there in that street. Like, we watched that happen on TV. You did too, Mo. We watched him. <laughs> why do y'all keep Why do y'all keep just reminding? Me? This is, <laughs> have you ever heard Cozy? This is a reminder. But anyway. <laughs> That's her name, Natasha, <laughs> Natasha Harlins. That's her name. Bitch. And when they was being, when they was stomping that man out there, and those police got away, and when that shit happened with OJ, we said, "Well, he just like they didn't do it, he didn't either." Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Just like they didn't do it, bitch. He did. He didn't do it the fuck either. Right. Yep. He ain't do it. We seen them beat Rodney King. Mm -hmm. And y'all said they didn't do it. And, and we didn't see that nigga kill them two people. Right. But you best believe I know he did it. <laughs> but if you ask me to die, to this day, right. I'm going to say, no, nah, Joey ain't do that shit. Okay. You crazy? I don't like judging people by the, I don't like judging a book by his cover. But when you look at OJ, you like, he did it. When you just look at OJ, you like. When OJ did that joke, when he was like. <laughs> I was like, oh, and then that nigga came back with that book talking about if I did it. If I did it. And, and, th and listen, and the gag is, bitch, that's why they pulled him together by those golf clubs. And, 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 right, that, that Heisman trophy, bitch. And you know, that was like, and I think it was like, what was it, 10 or 30 years from the date that he got off from the Nicole shit? Uh -huh. And they got his ass for that Heisman Bitch, shit. they got him together, bitch. We got and you going to jail. He got he got arrested for stealing his own gold. His own right. shit. <laughs> white people, white people, that's some nasty work. Nasty work. Nasty work. <laughs> that was nasty work, bitch. <laughs> bitch, that was nasty. Okay. They're like, we can't get you for that. So, well, Kaylee, we, we need you. you we need you to put those Janice Dickinson lips together and <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> You see how bad Janice Dickinson looks? Oh my God, she looks awful. That bitch she looks horrible. Is and they, for them to say that she was a supermodel? Oh my God. God, that bitch looks horrible. She looks terrible. Some Girl. People, some people don't age well, man. Spoil me. white people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, let's not do that because I know some blacks that don't either. Well, hey, listen, here you go. That's the blacks that don't moisturize. I know, the, I know some blacks that don't either, Look, girl. That's the blacks horrible. that don't moisturize. Get horrible. your moisturizer, people. What's that girl? What's that Whitley girl name? <laughs> oh, Jasmine Guy. Horrible. Was she part white, though? Oh. Isn't Jasmine Guy biracial? Well, maybe that black should have took over one of those sides. But there are also white people that age well. Let me yes, see. it is. I think, is Jasmine Guy biracial? Yes. Yes, there is some white people there that are, age there well. Are, yeah, there's some white it people. It ain't many. Is. Some. <laughs> there, there aren't many. S U M. Some. Right. But there bitch, aren't many. That Janice Dickinson. Oh, they said she's not biracial. Oh, they they, said, yeah. Some of them saying she is yeah, biracial. Yeah, some people are saying she is. Some people are saying she Janice is. Janice Dickinson's horrible. Well, if she ain't biracial, it's somebody in her near, uh, like one of her grandparents or somebody. Somebody close in, in her lineage. Horrible. <laughs> Yeah, um, there are more people saying, yes, she is biracial. Okay. Girl. Hold on. <sighs> oh, my stars. Girl. What? So we passed, so we're past that, uh, the, the Caitlyn. Now, yeah. let's keep going. But okay. while, we're, while we're on Celeb. Oh, well, you clicked on it, so let's do it. Yeah, go ahead. So this girl, which I, which, uh, which, which listen, I'm a fat bitch, so I'm going to use terms because I'm, I'm in this, I'm in the area. I'm a fat bitch, so I'm going to use fat bitch terms. Now this big bitch right here. <laughs> now, now, who? now this big bitch right here, big bitch. If you had the money to buy you two seats, you should have bought two first class seats, girl. Cause I don't know which airline that is. Judging by those TVs in the back, that looks like Frontier. <laughs> girl, I don't know. Put up a sign or something saying legend. I don't need to put that up. I fly constantly. I just, I just got off a flight yesterday. But bitch. But it wasn't Frontier. No, though. it was not. And I was in the front. I was actually one A. <laughs> bitch. So she bought her seat, her two seats, because she's a big bitch. You feel me? <clears throat> and me as a big bitch, I understood her pain because I have a big ass. 
I'm of 60 going around. <laughs> so sometimes, then, bitch, that's why I don't let those girls motherfucking let me put me past C6, bitch. Because a bitch sitting there, I'm not going to get in the middle of two people and my and both of my asses is hanging over in the seats. Lord. Now, according to the story that happened with this motherfucking woman right here, uh -huh. a woman and her baby got on the plane and they were angry at her and they were angry because they felt that they should have, that she should have given up her seat that, that she purchased be, so that her and her baby can sit. Now, who's at fault in all of this? The airline. Why? Why? Yeah. So you mean to tell me you, I, I don't give a fuck. If I pay for this seat and this seat, I don't give a fuck about your baby. Right. So I was going to say it was the, the, the it's woman. the airline's fault. It's for overselling. Oh, okay. 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 You knew, oh, so you, they, only, you, knew you only had one seat left because the big bitch took two. <laughs> You only had one seat left. <laughs> the big bitch paid for two seats because she knew she was the big bitch. Oh. She knew this. So because she knew that she was the big bitch, she paid for she she, she came in. <laughs> but my thing is, as a big bitch with money, you have to pay first class. But if she paid for two seats, girl, first of all, put that think... put that picture back up there, mom. Okay. Let me let me help you. First of all. That little ten dollar gallo dress. She did not have enough money to get no two first class seats. She barely got that seat. And you said that that's frontier. It looks like it that was a forty nine dollar flight. <laughs> okay. Now let me give you my experience. You can take it down, Mo. And let me give you my experience of when I was on a Delta flight. And this big guy, and don't be dragging me, talking about I'm fat shaming and shit. Man, you just said all that shit about. But big you're not fat though. So I can't say it. So only if you fat, you can talk about That's that. That's right. <laughs> only you're allowed to really relate. Listen, we can only go this Don't far with that. Africa. I'm not in that class, We can man. only go this far with Africa. <laughs> you can go beyond because man, you're African. I'm not that fat. No, no, I'm not I, even fat. I, oh, you are. I'm not fat, You man. have breasts. But I said African. Actually, no, I don't. Look at this. I see you. Like, listen, I can see your nipple over here. He, that, de he definitely needs a little training, bro. I can see your nipple there's over here. There's a difference between a Sweetie, that's a tip. There's a difference between a nipple. That's a tip, sweetie. There's a difference between a nipple and a breast. Boom. No, no, no. It's okay. Only two different that's things. That's a tip. No, no, no. There's a difference between that's a nipple a tip. and a breast. No, no, you do have little mosquito bites up there. <laughs> you no, do. No, I don't. You do. Look at them. They, they are... They, that's a tip. I might have a nipple, you, but I don't listen, have tip. You have look, a look, have Listen, a just but, work, just work on your push-ups tonight. But here's, the, your push -ups <laughs> here's tonight. the thing. The gag is you have a bicep and a tit. It's okay. <laughs> look, just, just work on just work on your push-ups starting that's tonight. That's a tit, boo. I feel attacked. You should. I feel attacked. Because we are windmilling on your ass <laughs> about that tit. <laughs> so either you can pull your shirt up no, or we can fight tit. I'm going to have nipple. Well, Mo, just pull your shirt. Let's fight. This is our titties. This is our titties battle. The fuck? I was on a Delta flight, <laughs> and when I was on that Delta flight, there was a black guy, and he was so big that he was spilling over into my seat, and bitch, I was in the middle seat. Now, I don't know how that happened. Well, Craig, here's the thing, all right? Let me go ahead, and, since you, because I'm not going to allow you to do this. Well, I, I, mean, I didn't even get to the good part of the story. You're about yet. to. I'm going to let you get to the good part, but I'm just because I'm going to have to pee while you get to that thing. Okay. Because this alcohol is running through. But you're a very rich bitch, and you have no business sitting in the middle seat. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you, you better walk across the camera. <laughs> so listen, I'm on my Delta flight. Oh. I'm in the middle seat. And it was the most uncomfortable flight I have ever taken in my life. I was literally seated like this because he was in this chair. Somebody else else was in this chair here. But was the other person smaller? She was smaller. Oh, okay. So I was kind of leaning to her, but I couldn't even put my I couldn't even rest my back on the on the, on the chair, on the seat. Because he was Because he was seat. literally spilling over. His <laughs> arm, his his it. side meat. I spill it. Listen, and he was trying to sit small. <laughs> he, he was like this. Oh. And like, and you know how when somebody, no shade, <laughs> but you know, you know how when somebody is big and they, they are aware that they're big, uh -huh. like he, I'm him. So he's sitting like this and he wouldn't look at me. He would, <laughs> you see, can you see my eyes? He kept doing like this. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to look over at me because he knew a bitch was uncomfortable. <laughs> when I tell you I got off that flight, bitch, I thought I had scoliosis. <laughs> 
I wrote Delta from the plane, bitch. <laughs> and they gave me 6,000 sky miles for my inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Delta. I tell you what. So wait, so do you think- I tell you what, had I known that this, I would have wrote into my friends over at Delta because I'm a diamond medallion. Yes, and I would have told those girls, he's a very rich bitch. And so there's no reason, no reason for this rich bitch to be sitting in the middle seat. You should have waited for, listen, I was supposed to be on a flight all the way home from LA, bitch. And I had moved, moved my flight over because I wanted to rest. Uh-huh. Because I work so much. <laughs> and fire come. Uh-huh. And so, <laughs> so I was, ex- I was so tired. Bitch, when I moved my flight over, there were no more first class seats left. So what did you do? Bitch, I waited to the following day. <laughs> <laughs> I waited to the following day. And you were there too. You just didn't know that we waited to the following day. Because so that's why we waited to the following day? Because I couldn't get on that seat, that first class okay. seat. So we could have been home a day earlier. Yes. Now where was Mo sitting? <laughs> well, Mo sitting where to get, I, I pay Mo. That's him if he does. If he decides. Well, no, no, no. The question was, where was Mo sitting? I, I, I don't. I, I, well, listen, it depends. Hold on. Excuse I, me. It, it let varies. me answer. It excuse me. I don't go past seat six. <laughs> I don't go past seat six. So as Mo past seat six, I don't know where he was sitting. Look, I don't know where he's going. I just know he's on the plane. He's somewhere. on the plane. I'm on the somewhere. plane, but I'm, I'm never in the back, past, though. I'm ah, not going. I'm never past. in the back. I'm not. No, you no. I don't I'm never. never I, I never let because I buy y'all tickets early yep. enough so that you can choose your seat. Yes, yes, and that's true. And because I buy y'all ticket early enough <laughs> to choose your seats, you also I also uh, put you where you can get your sky mouse. So you you y'all be having enough sky mouse to upgrade your seat. You're right, <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Now that's on y'all if y'all don't want to do it. If you're saving all of your points, no, I, I because we my seat. hold on. Because if you don't want to upgrade your seat, because you you flown with me so many times all over the world. Excuse me, the world, not the country, because you've traveled the world with me, W O R L D, the world, <laughs> and because you've traveled the world with me, you have high points. Now, if you're saving your points to go back to see Big Mama in Nigeria, bitch, that don't got nothing to do with me. It do. You better take those it do. points. Did you say you want to be? You Big better Mama? take those Wait, points. Did you say you want to be? Well, go see Big Mama. But, but did you, you say you want to be? Well, Big then, Mama? well, we'll go past C six then, because <laughs> because because I'm not paying for anything. Before C6, because when the people buy my ticket, they buy my ticket, I, and I explain to them, I don't go past row six. Okay. One, you have you well, can you can choose between one, and I and I want a window seat. Well, you need to tell I them want that a window for me seat too. too. You need to tell them that for me too. No, I will be buying yours. <laughs> yeah, well, that, you that was a lesson for me. You Never can't again. tell me that. Why not? Uh-uh. <laughs> you barely get to work. I'll, but go I'll ahead. Always, whenever you need me, I'm here. Right. You can't say I'm not here when well, you We'll see me. you on the plane after we get off. <laughs> <laughs> but in the instance of that story, I, I think if that lady paid for two seats, she paid for two seats. Right. Correct. And she should have two seats. And a bitch come on there with her crying ass fucking baby. Bitch, you just got to get the plane, get the next plane or you have to go to the back. That's right. Like, I'm not finna give up. And listen, they don't want none of that shit with me because I don't give a fuck about children. Y'all know I don't. Y'all know I don't give a fuck about children. They, are, they Those are miniature humans. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your kids, bitch. Those are yours. They not mine. Bro, we need to talk about these badass kids in this school. Yeah, since we're since we're since we're, here. since we're here and we're talking about children, let's talk about these kids right here. Boom. Oh. Oh. You think that affected me any? Me hit you again? Me hit you again? I don't want it. You I don't want it. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. I'm not fucking playing with me. Oh. I told your dumb ass I'm not your dumb ass glass off your fucking face. And do I look like I care? What the fuck wrong with you? What you gonna do? Still sit in that chair and you use a bitch. My granny, nigga, stop fucking playing with me. What the fuck wrong with you? Bitch ass nigga. Ain't nobody in the coming. You just got slapped. <laughs> bitch, go back to teaching. I'm soft ass. More time. So remember the other week when we were talking about, and you said you were in the area of being transphobic and I pushed back on it. This is why I pushed back on it. Cause when I think of transphobic, I think of this, but I do understand what you were saying. I thought about what you said. And so I'm like, yeah, I was, you know, just trying to be away, away and separated from it. But that, that hurt my spirit to see that. It always hurts my spirit to see stuff like that. And, and that, that, and even as much as you don't really let care for white people the way you do, Cause you really don't care for white people. It's not that I don't care for white people. I just don't like their shit. And when they act like they don't know what we're talking about, you don't really like white people as much as you. 
And I was so blown back to see you had compassion for this white person being slapped by this Negro. I don't, I don't like it's a I white like trans that. person. And yeah. I felt, I really, you know, I always feel some type of way. I don't give a fuck what color they are. Right. I always right. feel some type of way about that shit because it's just like, and this is a nigga, mm -hmm. you know, whose parents are going to be like, it was a man, well, shit, they should have. Right. And it's like, that, that, whether it was a trans person or not, there's a certain decorum and a certain amount of respect right. that your yeah. child should have when they're in school. Yes. Period. And Craig feels that type of way because I saved him from being a substitute teacher. Can I, can I ask a question? That was my last job, substitute teaching. Can I ask Sure, Mom. Go ahead. Do you think it's more that the person is trans or that they're white? Because it's I, both. I, I know. I know. It's so, both. Okay, because this is what I was going to say was the fact that minus you, I know other trans women because <laughs> of you, and I don't know any trans woman that I've met that would have taken that. Well, see, I, for me, well, black, any black oh, trans woman. okay, yeah, any black trans woman. Because this one wouldn't. Well, but, yeah, but my thing I know, is, that's why I said but that. my thing is, we've done on on the Queen Supreme Court, we've done stories where the teacher, the substitute teacher, was black, and one of them unruly ass boys or kids got up, and and it's not just boys, right? It's sometimes it's children, girls period. too. Yeah, children, period, and so yeah. I don't care if the if the teacher was trans, I don't care if it was a substitute teacher, I don't care if they were black, I don't care if they were white. <clears throat> that shit was not okay. And his ass probably can't even fucking read or add or subtract. <laughs> and see, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's not okay. No, and like, not. his ass need to be in jail. He should. Definitely. Because that's assault. And, but the teacher said that she, she sat there, she, she took it, and she, I just was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, cause <clears throat> I, I just couldn't do it, you know? And, and, and just imagine when the people are told that the, the the, the teacher was a, is a trainee. He sounds like he comes from one of those homes where they where they can't read the reader spell either. That all of them is over there, honey. At Fair East Side High, <laughs> can't pass the minimal basic skills test. Right, <laughs> right. Like I mean, I just think that that's unfortunate. Like it you is. know what I'm saying? Like I just really like what what are you sending your kids to school for? And you know what I'm saying? But I think sometimes, and not all of the time. But I think sometimes in instances like this, when shit like that happens, it's usually because the parents, and I'm not even going to say the mama, sometimes it's because either the, the, the father's not in the house, the mother is 13 years older than the child. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, what is going on? And I think that's one of the issues is because when you just, when you, especially when you even approach the, the, the parent about their child, then they, they want to come in with attitude. Right. And then they want to be like, that's not my child. My child would never do this. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, do I have to show you the, the, the hammer well, on they, my they, face? They always talk about what my child won't do. And my child won't do that. You know, just like when I watched that video, just, just <clears throat> when those uh, people were robbing that house. And, and uh, remember that time, Craig, and I said, look at this shit. And all them <laughs> niggas. The 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 the, 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 the homeowner shot and killed them young folks and the, and they were standing at the time. They was good kids. They wouldn't have to do that. And they came mm -hmm. in armed. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. came in that man's house armed. Right. Mm -hmm. Remember that story? Yeah. They came in his house armed and they all outside like y'all. You shouldn't have killed my bro. You ain't have now, bitch. If he would have came in there <laughs> busting, how, how would the story mm -hmm. have went? That's right. what I'm saying. That's that's not okay. And though. a lot of you bitches gotta stop writing on y'all kids and, and loved ones obituaries. They was a good kid and they went to the, 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 <laughs> to, 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 to New Bethel A and E Church. They grew up in it. No, they didn't. No, and damn well you knew them kids was hell. No, they didn't. Go to New Bethel, bitch. Or New Birth. Yeah, that was that was really yeah. unfortunate. And and people might not people might not agree with what I'm about to say, but you see the thing one thing about in Africa is that when they say go. here he go no no seriously what did they do say about You're it about it him. does take no they do say it does take a village they do say it does take a village Nairobi is it I the village of Nairobi well, where's that at you tell me I don't know I've never heard of that place you have it? Nope. oh Nairobi okay go ahead <laughs> <laughs> no but when they say it takes a village I mean like no child no matter if it's your child or not is is above reproach so in the sense of is so much of a community that if your child, if if your neighbors see your child acting a fool, your neighbors could your neighbors could discipline you. And if you go and if the child goes back to if the child goes back to the parents and the, they and the parents come to the to the neighbor and say, hey, 
what's going on with my child and they and they and they experience or they are told about the disruptiveness that the child is bringing to the community the parents will be like yeah you deserve to get beat and when we get home i'm gonna beat you again that's how y'all say it no no they don't say it like that say it how they say it so i can understand don't if I say it how they say it, you're not going to understand. I will. No, you won't. I'm related. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you mean you're related? I'm just long. We're long, 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 long. Okay, so you're going to tell me exactly everything that I said if I say it how they were saying it. Yes, go ahead. Okay. So I'm just going to do a whole scenario. Hey, so what did it happen now? Uh huh. Mommy, now the guy don't come. He don't came me now. I don't, I know, I know, I don't know what thing that they do for this guy where they do me like this. Uh huh. Ah. Okay, make I go meet her. Mm -hmm. They meet the guy. Okay. Ah, waiting. Why they why they do my child like this? Waiting they do you. Ah, ah your child they do all this jaga jaga for the street. Waiting that ah why why did they do this thing now? Then next thing you know, boom, altercation. So can you tell me what I just said? You said that they had ran into somebody uh on the street, and um when you ran when they ran into him, uh they had. I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't. But all I know is that shit made me want to go to Africa. <laughs> so I could learn that. That shit just made me so horny right now. I just logged into my Africa. <laughs> I just logged into my app that I got this in Africa. My African, my African hookup app. So I'm like, I'm on the way. I just what learned African some, I just learned Raga Raga. <laughs> these niggas oh. Girl, go ahead Craig <laughs> who, who are these niggas oh. Oh. who is it Craig can somebody please tell me who these niggas are well you can tell us let's go these are the niggas for Trump <laughs> NFT niggas for Trump <laughs> niggas for Trump when I tell you they had pulled up he had, first of all this was planned if you all don't know this story already they coordinated this and that girl who was in this in this uh picture with him hugged up uh -huh. hold on let me get her hold back up. up here i got you oh. this girl right here she's a part of some uh conservative group that's led or headed by candace owens so this this whole thing was like orchestrated she was like one of the people on the ground to help coordinate this this whole little meeting, right? So he goes to the Chick Fil A and he buys every, he buys thirty milkshakes for people. Mm. <clears throat> and of now, course, chicken. Now don't now Chick Fil A don't, do be having some nice ass milkshakes. They do. And you know what I'm saying? And if you a nigga that's real real slow on it, you will get his vote because he bought you a chicken sandwich and a milkshake. Bro, you give me that uh that that cookies and cream milkshake, right? You now? gonna vote for Trump? No, nah, nah, I wouldn't vote. Oh, for you see, him. I had to catch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna vote for it, Wait, I, but I'm gonna right. give me a free milkshake. Wait, look at your eyes. But I'm gonna get me a free milkshake. Bitch, look at Craig's eyes. I had to see how quick he was. <laughs> so he had to give him. Mo, I'll get you a milkshake. <laughs> I'll get you a milkshake. Beloved, <laughs> beloved, lean it, lean. Look to your children, beloved. <laughs> right, I can get you a milkshake. It's not that serious. I can get you a milkshake. <laughs> Did, did you want a, did you want a vanilla one? Or? <laughs> no, I wanted the I wanted the cookies and cream one. Oh, okay, how yeah. much is that one? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I, well, I, I usually I'm, get actually it's about six dollars some change. Okay, I'll cash up you seven fifty. Okay? okay, no problem. Thank you. I appreciate it. Seven dollars right after 50. work. <laughs> Girl, he had pulled up at that Chick Fil A. <laughs> you can do it. I, I'll cash up you seven fifty. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that, Chris. I'm gonna go there I, right after work. One. I'm gonna go right. there right after work. <laughs> I'll get you a milkshake. Yeah, yeah. You can get him a milkshake. Yeah, I, I have a little spare change for a milkshake. <laughs> Girl, is that is that all it takes for him to get y'all's vote? <laughs> I did. I said I wasn't going to vote for. It. I just said you I wanted see, a free milkshake. You see how you just proved the point? Where you just proved the point? Girl, a milkshake and a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Girl, white folks know they they they've food. always pandered to us with food. You're right. Oh my god. They do. Instead of them giving you a raise on your job, they want to do a pizza party. <laughs>
instead of giving you a raise on your job or give you a couple of days off, they want to give you, uh, oh. and they give you four extra dollars on your food stamp. Right. Oh. They're going to buy lunch for the office. No, I don't need you to buy lunch for me. Give me the extra money. Let me do what I want to do with my money. I got a light bill that I need to pay. Oh. I don't need no motherfucking pizza. In fact, I don't even eat cheese. <laughs> They love to give a bitch a pizza oh. party. Oh, well, we want to show our appreciation. Bitch, if you want to show your appreciation to me, give me a visa card, bitch. <laughs> with a hundred on it. Oh, great. That's what you can do. So Craig, I can pay this Georgia me. power. Craig, that took me. Ooh. Right, some goddamn baby bagels. Craig, that took me. Did okay. you call Mo that you would buy him a milk? I'll get you a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He over there, you over there lying waiting on Trump when you, when you got your friend. Right. <laughs> Look in the. I didn't know. I didn't know Craig was going to have my matter. back like that. It I don't matter. Your milkshake. I didn't know Craig was going to have my back like that. That's why. In yeah. the word of, in the word of, what's the name? Baptiste. Look to your children. Right. <laughs> Look to your people. Okay. <laughs> my God. But wait, it was something when we were talking about. See, y'all, y'all be moving me too fast. I was, still, I was still kind of cooking. <laughs> When we were talking about the whole trans thing in the bathroom, I got to circle back real quick. I've seen things, I've seen stories that the late Sandra Bland was a transphobe. So as black queer people, because you all know I'm always fighting for black folks, but the challenge that some in the black queer community have is when our counterparts um, are sometimes against us. And then, like in the case of a Sandra Bland, she was killed, unfortunately. But then it's like, are black queer people, in particular trans people, are they supposed to be outraged because she was she was transphobic? Not saying that anybody would want her dead, right. but it's like we're always quick to run to the front lines when black men and women, heterosexual black men and women are killed. But that same, it's not always reciprocal when it's somebody in the black queer community, whether it's a black trans woman or black trans man or whatever, whatever. Um, And so I've had conversations with trans people who are sometimes conflicted with how to reconcile that. Like, do, do I grieve that? Am I supposed to fight for that? You know? Somebody said, where did Craig get that news from? Girl, did you want to help me or are you going to leave me out here? <laughs> girl, 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 did you want to help me or did you want to leave me out here? <laughs> what happened? Girl, it's a mutiny. Honey. They, they're trying to come and get me. Wait, Craig, I'm... <laughs> yeah. You not looked at Mo's desk yet? What? What happened? Yeah. That hammer, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, this has nothing. Maddie, I had to. I was fixing something. That's why the, the hammer is on my desk. Craig, I was, want... something. I was fixing something. I was fixing something. Maddie, I was fixing something. This has nothing Craig, to do. Do you see that hammer sitting over there? That dead? You just not noticed that? There's a screwdriver here too. Oh my god. Oh, oh so okay. This this is what we're giving. <laughs> Maddie, I was fixing something on my desk. I was fixing something. That's it. Y'all, it's a hammer and a screwdriver. On my, it's a big hammer. I just looked over and saw the it's hammer. It's not even that big. It's big enough. <laughs> mm. He said, "We tired. I'm tired of y'all talking about Africa. When the lights go well, out that's here, you. No, bitch, that be you too. Don't act like you don't talk about Mo when the cameras ain't on. And we'll be on the phone talking about Mo and Africa. Don't oh, for real? Now, bitch, when he hit me with oh, the hammer, real? he better hit you. <laughs> okay, so some of y'all are getting a little ruffled in, in the okay, comments. Okay, what they say? But it's Come okay. On. Come on. Leave her alone. Okay. No, 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 no. How dare you? What, 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 what? Well, girl. What? Bring me back. What happened? Yeah, hold on. I'm trying they to... said they want a Mo cam. No, y'all don't want to see that over there. Because I'm really sitting here looking at the hammer over there. Maddie, Maddie, I told you it's not and no for you. That my electrician was also messaging me too, oh. honey, telling me that he over here and da 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 da. Oh, you know. So tell me what happened really quick. Cause so there have been stories that have surfaced that she was transphobic, and so my question is: Who Sandra Bland? Yeah, she was. 
Yeah, she was transphobic. She said a lots and lots and lots of things. Cause like when I when I watched things about her, you know, I went and looked up, looked it up, and I was like, yo, this shit crazy. And like some of the first sets of people that were really speaking up in a space about her were gay people. Well, because again, as I said weeks ago, we've always been at the forefront of every major movement in this country. Black yeah. Lives Matter was founded by black queer women. Yes, it was. And here's the thing, when it comes down to stuff like that, it hurts my heart to know that some of the people that I would get out there in the streets for, picket, burn down, tear, riot, and protest for, not only would not do the same for me, but would join on the side of the people that would hurt me. Right. You know, and this is where I come when we have these types of deep con deep conversations about this stuff. I've been hurt more by my own skin tone, by my own people. Yes, the crockers mm. have done that have done what they do. Mm -hmm. And continue to. What they do and what they have done. But listen to me, niggas. <laughs> Damn. The niggas don't bad. make it no motherfucking better, and they don't make it. Not that they don't make it no better, but they be they will conjoin in with that to hurt me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I say all the time: when you want to get a racist motherfucker and a black nigga bitch together, throw in something that's against a fag, a trainee, or anything homosexual, and they are as one. They are mm -hmm. you. They're on a united front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When I saw that stuff about her, I was like, yo. And I don't talk about her. I don't mm -hmm. say, I, I say rest in peace to her because I understand what happened to her was heinous. Mm -hmm. It was evil. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and, and the people that did it to her have to pay. They should pay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But also in the same breath, I can say, fuck. Laverne, <laughs> we got to this because I just said, we forgot to touch on this when we were talking about the trans thing. Did you miss that? Because you were so angry that I brought this up. Because I saw your comment. You said first. what exactly did she say? Go, you go, you can go, you can Use go look. You Google. can go, you can go see it. Like I went and saw it for myself. But the point of this, Laverne and others, is not about whether or not it's not about disrespecting her as a deceased person. The question is, critical thinkers, what happens when it's a black person? who is an advocate um, when, when they have issues with people who look like them, but just because they're queer, they have issues. So like, we're, how, do, how do we, as black queer people, reconcile that? Yes, because I, I was one of the people that was posting saying, you know, that the, the cops need to be uh, sent to jail, da, da 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 and it doesn't change what I posted and what I said and what I feel about it, but also having the information now that when she was among the living, she was transphobic, and if she was transphobic, it's pretty, pro probably pretty certain that she was probably also homophobic. Right, and so that's some hurtful ass shit. Like, that's hurtful to know that these people, like, these are people my people, the, my skin, you feel me? Like even when the first people to remind me that I was a trans hooker, prostitute, porn actress is most definitely mine and will try to, what is the word, Craig? Relegate well, they, they try you to, to Relegate that. me and try to minimize everything that's going on in my life right now, mm -hmm. like everything, or, or, or try to minimize every single mm -hmm. thing and, and, and still revert back to, oh, what you're porn, you're this and the other, bitch, mm -hmm. well, according to Alexa, and according to your television says, according, I don't give a fuck if it was one part, two part, three part, four. They ain't saying nothing about that. I remind, I remind y'all that that's where I come from. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I remind y'all that that's where I come from. So that you, if you're in a dark place, or if you're in a, or if you're in a place that people consider low, or if you're in a place where they won't won't want to release you from that you don't, you don't have to stay there. Or, right. bitch, that there is anything is possible. Anything is possible. Yep. The girls right now over here, I don't see they done tag me some shit. The girls right now having a fit. Well, she's so, well, that, well bitch, you only five years ago, you was, a, you was a prostitute. You were just, no, I was not a prostitute five years ago, sweetheart. I haven't done adult films in over a decade. 
It's unfortunate that this is these these are these are the places that y'all try to keep me in a spot, but it's okay. I don't need y'all for anything. I don't need you to release me from anywhere. Because bitch, it, you know, it's it's not for you to do. I know who I am, I know what I am, and I know mm -hmm. the things that I do. But I don't do it for those types of people. Right. I do it for the people that, that are in. There is somebody that is stuck right now. There is something that's holding somebody back right now. There is something going on in somebody's life right now where they're thinking like that this is it. This is the end. This is whatever. And this is these are the cards. Uh, your life could change in a moment. Mm -hmm. And your trajectory is up. And I think people should really understand the way the, the way that you're showing hate to <clears throat> people and then something that doesn't go your way you want those same people to come and show up for you but what's what are you doing for those people that you want them to show up for you what what are you doing for them to make them want to show up for you like you're constantly putting people down you're constantly uh condemning or or ostracizing people but then at the same time when something doesn't go your way you want those same people to come and fight for you why should they come and fight? All right. Them? Well, they should come and. Well, here's the thing. And I'm going to say some real ass shit. Mm. I'm black still. You're right. I'm black still. But and whether they're homophobic or transphobic or not, I understand that it's them today and it could be me tomorrow. But they don't but but they don't see it that way. They don't see that it could be it's us now, but it could be them tomorrow. And because they don't see it from that lens, they won't understand it. I see it from that lens. Because my feeling is, if you're going to fight for us, then you got to fight for all of us. If you're not fighting for all of us, then stay your motherfucking ass at home. That's yeah. the way I feel. And then when it comes to this election, <laughs> if you ain't voting for Biden, then sit your motherfucking ass at home. I understand that people who have issues with Biden and what's going on over in Palestine, but bitch, he's the lesser of the two evils. He's the lesser of the two evils. I don't, I don't get, get, want to hear nothing about all that other ignorant shit that some of y'all thinking and saying and posting. He is the lesser of the two evils. Period. And it's not just the presidential election that you need to be concerned with. Get your ass at these, at these, uh, local. At these local elections because it's these motherfucking judges, these motherfucking sheriffs. Whoever, whoever controls the house controls the, the And country. all of that shit. And all of you niggas and remember, I said the other week, it ain't just niggas ain't just black. It's white niggas, Asian niggas. And you white women. Correct. Because Craig, you stay on the white women. Sure do. You say those white women vote off of what? Off of white interests. <laughs> they don't vote in the interests of women. They vote in their own selfish interests, generally speaking. And see, this is the shit that the white, some of the white folks that are watching don't like to hear me say. I don't have a problem with white folks. It's the shit, it's the selfish shit that some of you do. Mm. And I'm, I'm not even saying that, and I'm not saying that people shouldn't stand up for what's right. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that we should really sit down and think like we're treated people, we're treated people unjustly. So if they turn around and say, "Man, I'm out this shit," I don't blame them. I can't blame them. I can't. I can't look at them and say, "Oh, well, they're terrible people." When the same people that they're trying to protect are wishing harm against them, and also. Those of you that plan to vote independent, you can stay your ass home too if you ain't voting for Biden because that shit ain't gonna happen. It's either gonna be Trump or Biden. Yeah, that, that third vote is a waste. You just throwing away your vote. Yeah. And the thing is, when people say, well, you know, um, I, just, I just don't think that voting matters. No, it matters because if it didn't matter, they wouldn't be doing everything in their power to suppress your vote. Do you remember a few years ago when the uh, when there was so many people out there voting, like in record numbers? It may have been, it may have been when um, Obama got in. I don't know if it was when he got in or if it was after it, when it was Hillary and Trump. I can't remember. But the bottom line is, remember when there was so many people in line? So many black people came out and voted. It was so many people in line. And they were in line for so long that there were people going out to the polls saying, please don't get out of the line. Yes. There were people coming with mm -hmm. bottles of water and snacks so you'd stay your ass in line. Uh -huh. And they would come out there with chairs. You know, they just started creating legislation where you get a fine if you bring in water and shit to somebody in, in the line. They're trying to discourage you from voting. Well, I'm going to vote. Now, do I think that it's going to count? No. 
Where did it count if we all get out there and do what the fuck we supposed to do? That's true. And these shifty ass white folks, I'm not saying all of y'all. What about the shifty ass colors? Because it ain't just the them white. too. Like the, that nigga we just showed at the Mo, Chick Fil A. Mo just said that I'm gonna buy him a milkshake, okay. so he ain't gonna. Trump ain't getting his vote now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy him a milkshake. Be careful with that, because that hammer's sitting real close to the edge. Right now. <laughs> I, think we, I think we need to scale back. Ah! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> scale back. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to y'all. I love y'all. I, I know you do, <laughs> but I got a ham over here too, bitch. <laughs> okay. It's not my ham at all. It don't yeah, matter. Yes, and these, and, 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 and these um, Cuban Americans and some of you Hispanics too that think you white. Down there in Florida. Right. They're going to have your goddamn grandmother and your uncles and shit sent away. <laughs> Play if you want to. And your children. And your children. It's right down there to the border. You keep on thinking he think he care about you. Since we're talking about children, let's get back into the children's space again. Please. Yes. I'd like to talk about these the pedophilia that goes on, the, the hetero pedophilia. Mm. Oh, we could have played, we could have played, because you know. We couldn't. Because you know it's a movie. Oh yeah, but what else do we have? Oh, we, there's uh, a, there was a 10 year old going with a- A, a, a teacher. A teacher, we yes, have yes, that. Yes, we do. Well, yeah, the that, teacher was going with the, him. Yeah, and the mama found out because she was, um, you don't have it, Mo? No, I do. Well, let's talk about it. it and so the mama was the mama found out because she went through her son, her kid's phone, and he got a whole motherfucker. He got his, his teacher as the screensaver. The, yeah. Right. And she on there sending him script of pictures like she got on scrap up he shoes. Was Ten years old. Ten. What do you host? Yeah, I, I don't have it because it's, it's a news channel. You're First right. of all, what do you hoes do with kitty dicks? Some of you hoes can't handle the little dicks that these niggas got out here. Y'all read the niggas for having little, little small, un, unused dicks or little tiny dicks. You read the niggas for this. So what in the fuck is you gonna do with the kitty dicks? Do you want to play it on here? Because I, I do have the screenshot. Let me see the screenshot right here. Well, that's the news story. Well, well, send it to my what you call it. It, okay. it was here in Georgia. No, sit, put it thing up there. And let me. Uh, oh, okay, I was gonna send it to you first though. But why. you can still put it up there. Okay. Click on your Instagram and your DMs. Yeah, it should be in there. Because I thought I sent it to you. Look in yours. Not the one with us, but just. You sent it to both of them because that's how I got it in there. Right. I, I did. Send... You right there. there you go. I just sent it to you. There it is. Yeah, okay. I just said yeah, Wendy, she's had some concerns for after a couple of instances at the place where her son attends this after school program, but she went to plug in his phone to charge it. And that's when she discovered what was going on between her 10 year old and a worker here at this daycare, the youth life center that had more than crossed the line. And she's uncovered that that relationship that had been brewing for likely weeks. They hugged for a lengthy period of time. Grace Uelu thought something was off with a newer worker here at Youth Life Center on Belly Hill Road. But when she plugged in her son's phone, her face was his screensaver on the phone. And it was a picture that she had taken of herself. And she started digging. I went through his text messages because that was the first thing that I thought. And her name was saved in his phone <laughs> as mommy. There's a bunch of I love you's and what are you wearing? She shared pictures of much of the concerning conversation between her son and the 24 year old worker and pictures like this one. That's not a picture that you send to a 10 year old. That's a picture that you send to your man. She said the worker bought her son clothes, shoes, and even a gold chain. And Grace said when investigators came to her apartment, a Department of Family and Children's Services worker got her 10 year old to reveal more. He did say that this incident where she was rubbing his leg happened on the way back from the field trip. We aren't using the worker's name or face because she is yet to be charged. <laughs> and that's why Grace is outraged. Had it been a situation where it was a little girl and a grown one, a grown man, they down. would have locked him up on the spot with no questions until he was proven innocent. I reached out to Youth Life Center who sent a statement saying upon learning of these allegations, we took immediate action by notifying the appropriate authorities going on to say we have terminated the employee for violations of standard operating procedures. Grace won't rest until that worker is charged. Channel 2's Candace McCowan back out live with us from Clayton County. So Candace, where does this case stand now? Wendy, we reached out multiple times to Clayton County Police and we have not heard back. We did hear back from DFAX who says that they are looking into this case but couldn't say much else because of privacy reasons. That mother says that her 10-year-old is just confused right now. 
we need, and we can all understand why this is all just very inappropriate and i know you'll be following this one for us candace thank you Craig, I know you're not even a dick connoisseur. <laughs> you like booty. Oh, Lord. But what about so it? So is that Coco Felon? You like, ooh. <laughs> you like booty. Uh-huh. Craig, what's she going to do with a 10-year-old dick? I don't even know. What's she <sighs> But she didn't, first of all, why you a they, dummy, bitch. You is, and why are they conce Why are they hiding her? But she didn't think that the mama would see her picture on his phone as the screensaver. What kind of shit? A picture she took and gave it to him. I want to know her name. But the mama is right. Had it been, oh, someone, Andrew said, come get me, Craig. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> DM me. <laughs> But well, listen. Hey, you go be in a fucking whore. <laughs> look, look. Now, Andrew, you can go over to CraigTheWriterStuart.com and send me an email. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. He, he, but listen. Obviously, he don't got no kitty dick or ass. <laughs> like, what the but no, fuck? But listen, but my thing is, like the mother said, had this been a 10-year-old girl and if the teacher had been a male. It would be a prison. It would have been a totally different story. Completely. They would have handled it completely different. Differently. That's an adverb. That's wild. Wow. But let's talk about it. We we could talk about it. Can we talk about it? Yeah. Oh, should I shake the table, Craig? Go ahead. I'm shaking the table, Craig. I'll be lucky to do it. Shake it, Mo. Shake it. You got a crush on your teacher. <laughs> Don't you? You got a question? You, you, when it's a little boy, you so man. It's not being so man. He's so handsome, ain't he? My baby, he, he had a crush on the team. All the girls like him. Uh -huh. He's so cute. You know, he he got all the girls. He he, Boosie. Oh lord, it's called grooming. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He just a little. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be a, he that he gonna be a real nigga. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he mm -hmm. gonna be a real mm -hmm. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause all all the he cute all the girls want in. You see how you feel so sweet to your teacher? Go give us some sugar. Give us some sugar. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And see, I'm not for that. Like when you have children, even if it's family members, and like. Go give you go give your uncle such and such a hug. If that little boy or that little girl said they don't want to, stop forcing your kids to do that shit. Give her a kiss on the cheek. He said he don't want to, damn it. Allow your kids to have agency over their body. Yeah. Savon said it's okay until it's gay. First of all, if this was the other way around, they'd have had that nick, they'd have had that male teacher's face plastered everywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And in jail. Right, and they Clayton County, but I um, uh, Roderick Jones <laughs> of Clayton County Elementary School, <laughs> Roderick Jones of Clayton County, <laughs> and the little boy, it would have been everywhere. And I don't think people, I don't think people think that if if you, if this is a little boy going through this, I don't think they think it's going to have a negative effect on his psyche. But I think all of these little things like that, these, uh, and just for lack of a better word, I'm just gonna call them, um, it's not microaggressions, but it's the only thing that I can kind of think of. It's like when you start planting those little seeds like that for In little boys. Brain. Yeah, you're teaching them as a little boy that they're supposed to have all of these little girlfriends. Right. And so then when they become a grown man, they start to think that they're supposed to have all of these little girlfriends. That happened to be grown women and, and and that's true because even i still remember as a kid as a kid they'll be like oh yeah you got little girlfriends this you got little girlfriends that. you used to have little girlfriends so mo you used to have little girlfriends didn't they ha <laughs> i know you did they was right. real. you used to have a bunch of them didn't they? i didn't have a bunch of them. you ain't have you you only had i'll see you though you had enough though ah, you, was, enough. I just you, had you had two or three I had one. you was so young and cute looking so dog <laughs> <laughs> All the girls on it, no, you know, no. and you told them you was from Africa too. Uh -huh. Oh no, my no, god! Back, no, back when I was a kid, being African was not the move. Oh, it is now. It is now. Yeah, not when I was. A Everybody kid. wanted a Nigerian. Not, not, but not back when I was a kid. Oh uh, really? Yeah, you were African booty scratcher back then. Back then, oh, that's yeah. what it was when I was a kid. So we're because in the we're same, 
generation. Right. We know. We know. We know. <laughs> we know, bitch. <laughs> bitch, we know. <laughs> right. Don't do that. Tell on yourself. <laughs> but yes, it's called grooming. That's exactly what it is. Uh, somebody uh, said if it was a white little boy, she would have been under the prison. Marianne, don't play that. This is the product of uh, adultifying black children. Mm -hmm. And shit, you ain't said nothing but a word. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody said they it may end up like Robert Kelly. My God. <laughs> right. Um, oh, somebody posing a good question. What? Down, Mo, down. Where, where, where? Uh, they said, uh, this? Yes. Um, wondering how Nigerians feel about being fetishized by Americans. Well, most Americans. So he's, you know, he's only Nigerian by association. Wait, do you mean like how people just? I want me an African. I want an African. me an African. I want me an African. I want him, my African, to be from Nigeria, and I want him to have. Why, a, not, why not? I need his name to be Olu. Why does it have to be Olu? Because that's majority with Olu. They could. Why can't they be like an Ade? That too. Girl, they got some they got some fine Senegalese, Senegalese men. Uh, I just a Nigerian so they... <laughs> Give me the fucking soda. <laughs> Give you what, girl? The fucking soda. <laughs> Give me the fucking soda. You know what I want? The fucking soda. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, if you go to Nigeria, I don't think they think that Americans uh fetishize about Africans like that. To be honest with you, if you go to if you go to Africa, they think that Americans don't really even fuck with Africans like that. Well, you know, there are a lot of Africans that think that they're way better than Americans. Yes, they, 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 it's 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 uh, it's uh, very much so of a look down on the American people. Mm -hmm. yeah. They think that we're fucking stupid. Well, I, I won't say I won't say stupid. What I'll say is this because I've I, I t I've talked to a lot of uh, Africans like born. Don't fuck no raised. more American pussy then. No, that's don't I'll fuck no more. It is. Don't it's fuck no more American think, pussy then. You, you, you can't think. have no more American. No, pussy. this is what they think. I'm gonna tell you what you they can't think. Have no more American Lord. Pussy. I'm standing in for the coalition of American. Pussy. Let me tell you, you what they think. Pussy. Let me tell you what they. What do they think? Oh, this is what they think. They think that America is this this great place of opportunity. And that if you don't capitalize on it and you're not able to be, I would say, let's just say successful, they think, I won't say that they think Africans are stupid. I'll say they think they may say, I mean, Americans are stupid. They think, I'll say that they think Americans are lazy. Be specific. Black Af Americans. African Americans. They will say, I think they'll say that African Americans are lazy. But now but watch not, this. Not stupid. But now watch this. That's, yeah. Two things. One. Part of it is they come to this country, and I'm not just talking about Nigerians, I'm talking about Africans in general. Uh -huh. I had a professor in college who used to look at us all kind of sideways. He was from, um, the, uh, was he from, I think he was from Ivory Coast, I can't remember. But bottom line is, a lot of immigrants, even when you're talking about Asians, they come here thinking we don't want to associate with black people because of the image that's sent around the world about black people. Y'all walk around in them bonnets. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all at Walmart in your pajamas and shit. The little nigga kids fighting and beating the teachers up Not in school and kids. shit. Like the video we just showed. You're right. You're right. But aside from that, a lot of them are trained to believe that, right? When yeah. they come here. Yeah. And they've been taught that if you want to succeed, if you want to get the American dream, then you need to be in close proximity with white people. Not them niggas. That's one. Yeah, I could, I could, I could, I could attest to that. Yes. Now, as far as that lazy bullshit that they come here with, who do they think built this country? Because the damn sure wasn't white folks. When them Africans come here, they are coming here on our backs. The shit that we did here. Now, yeah, there are some lazy black folks, but shit, we earned it. But we, I feel like we earned it. Yeah, but I'm now saying, I do feel like that the majority of us uh -huh. are not lazy, and we're, you know. But it's just like what they don't understand is they haven't. Give me the fucking soda. They haven't lived here. So they haven't the lived here. Give me they the fucking soda. They haven't been here. Give me they the fucking they haven't soda. Lived, <laughs> they haven't lived under this system. Mm -hmm. Everything that 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 they are afforded when they come here is because of us. They're able to get a bank loan to buy a house or start a business because of us. So, like, I don't even, and that's why I don't fuck with 
uh, that girl who runs the shave room. Because you're like you want to put all of these uh, these uh, these skewed ass stories up about black people when you done brought your motherfucking ass over here to benefit off of the work that we've done. And that's that's the thing for you and the rest of the immigrants. But and that's what the thing. It's not like it's it's not like Af Africans just sit up and pop up one day and say, "Oh yeah, I just it's what they're being exposed to." The same way, okay, perfect example. The same way back in the day, because when I was growing up, and I tell people I'm African, they used to ask me, "Oh, so how is it living in Africa? Do y'all still live in the huts? Do y'all still do this?" It's because of what you're being. Is what you're well, being. That's what presented. I was saying earlier. It's like the information yeah. that's been fed around the world about right. us. So the information that they're getting fed is saying, "Oh, Africans live in this great, luxurious country, mm -hmm. but they're they're still not able to to uh, progress the way that that other races are able to progress, mm -hmm. not knowing of what African Americans have to go through to just even get to the position that that the few of African Americans are able to get to." They just think that once you get here, you should work your ass off, and no matter how hard right, you they're, work, they're not right. they're not factoring in of the other situation, all of the racism, right, the red tape, the redlining, exactly. and all the other bullshit that white people come up with to keep us back. Right, they they continuously move the the, the line. Exactly, they continuously move the line. Hence, this bullshit with DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, which some of these white folks. Have now started to call didn't earn it right, and it's like you crackers ain't. Oh, did but I say your you word? did. But here's the thing: <laughs> you all ain't earned shit. You got. <laughs> but this is the thing: shit though, passed right? down generationally but, to y'all. Talking about what somebody but, didn't earn. But Craig, <laughs> here we go. Let's. I want to revert this back to the colors. They're still on the fence of trying to vote in this direction. Correct. This falls under that. This administration falls under that. Like you're mm -hmm. voting against yourself. Correct. 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 I'm sorry. Can I say something real quick? Come on, Mo. You ain't got to really, ask. I don't really like. I don't really go after people in comments. Go ahead. But, go, uh, go, Mo. You got it. I just go got to say one thing. Uh, and don't even th actually. You can take it how you want to. I don't really care. About go it. ahead, Mo. But don't don't try to come after my intelligence. Oh, that's one thing. We're gonna get that one straight off the back. Don't come after my intelligence because you're not gonna tell me as an African who was born in America what Africans think. You what? Well, um, I don't know where you're from. I don't know who you are, but don't come after me. Well, if you coming after my intelligence, that's what's going to annoy me. You can say whatever you want to about me, but if you try to fuck with my intelligence, we got an issue. So please, if I annoy you, that's your own thing. I could care less. You don't pay me, but like I said, intelligence wise, don't do that. Thank you. You can go back. Sorry. Well, you got your degree from Mo. Motherfucking synagogue university, bitch. <laughs> and where you learn how to read from? The PhD in reading, bitch. <laughs> and I gave you a motherfucking hall pass to read just then. And I don't know if you passed or whatever. He said what he said. <laughs> no, it's true because I'm, I, I don't. One thing about me is I'm not going to. I don't. If I don't know something, I'm not going to speak on it. I'm not going to speak on it. I don't mind sitting back and letting other people speak on something that I know nothing about. Same way you just told me about the whole herpes things kind of stuff. I'm not going to argue with that because I didn't. I honestly didn't know that. Well, but maybe because you're not as sexual as the gays because you're a straight man and the gays are more hypersexual than the straight. <laughs> but yeah, because but that's another stereotype too that the gays are more hypersexual than the straight. Right. Oh. But y'all put all these children here. You put us gay kids here. I, don't say y'all because I don't have any kids. Yeah, you do. I don't have any kids. Some are on the floor. <laughs> Some may be in your home right now. They might be in a sock or a towel. No, but, no, no, no. But you have children. <laughs> Some might even be in Europe <laughs> on a cruise ship. Who knows? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Who else is up here? Let me see. What else we got up here? Well, we, we, well, we have we have two people that y'all really wanted to talk about. Who? That we haven't talked about. The one, two. Oh, yeah. Um, click on that. Come down. This One more. Oh, here? Right here. Oh, okay. Yes, Craig, come on, because you, you, you want to talk about it from the top of the show. Yeah, Let's so go. this was another... me, too. Yeah, this was another story that really, really saddened me. And um, Do we have a... a we have it here? I, it, well... It, you, can, you can play it, right? And put okay. It on, and put it on your mic so they can hear it. Leave the picture up. It plays. Oh no, this ain't playing. Well, what happened is this young man's his name was um, 
Carlos Collins, and he was 25. This whole story, this story happened down in um, Jackson, Mississippi. And his ex, can you show that other picture? Yes. His oh, ex, one? yeah. Okay. That's his ex, and then that one. This is another Yeah, one. this is when they apprehended him. His name is Marcus Johnson. And he was a former cop, is what I, I saw, what I read. Oh, really? And the guy who was killed, the first guy that we showed, um, again, Carlos Collins, he was, they were, they were in a relationship, and they had broken up. And this young man here had gone into the police department in Mississippi and told those people, I think my boyfriend, uh, ex-boyfriend, is going to kill me. Is stalking me, this, mm -hmm. that, and the third. Well, they basically dropped the ball. Like I said, the ex-boyfriend is a former cop. And um, he basically killed that boy. He killed, uh, I keep forgetting his name, Carlos. Carlos was killed. He shot him and he chopped him up with an ax. Oh. And, um, you know, when I, when I heard that story, it was really, 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 really sad because um, you know, domestic violence is, is, is a real thing. And, and this is why I have said consistently, like, you really got to be careful with how you, uh, how you handle people with their emotions and this, that, and the third. And I don't know what happened in this situation. I don't know why they broke up. I don't know what happened. But the way that this young man killed him is unheard of. That is like, no, that, that's, I, I, I like, death sentence, to be honest with you. Was, was he, was he, was he a cancer? I don't know what his sign was. <laughs> I need to look up his name. Was he a cancer? Because that's cancer activity. What was his name, Craig? His name, the, the killer? Yeah, the, the killer. Marcus Johnson. Well, that's such a great... It's, yeah, it's, that's, that's, it's that's five people out there right now named Mark. Right. <laughs> that's a right. broad name. It, it was inhumane. That's exactly the yeah, word to was. describe it. And, um, you know, so my heart goes out to his family and his friends. Um, he seemed like he was doing all of the right things. I think he had gone to school. And um, I'm, I'm talking about the victim. Um, he had gone to school and his mom was just like devastated. His mom, in one of the stories I saw, she said, I wish it had just been me and, you know, and, but the fact that he had, uh, Carlos had reported this and, and, and they just dropped the ball. But see, that's when you can kind of get into conversations around, what well, did they just downplay it because it was two guys? Because it was a gay relationship and they really didn't take it seriously or they just didn't right. give a fuck. You know, this is where sometimes homophobia can kind of creep in. Um, but s similar situation happened with this young lady. Oh yeah. This was in, uh, I think M Milwaukee. Let me look to make sure, uh, no, shit. but I think it was Milwaukee. Well, she was so pretty. She was 19 and this boy right here, they went on a date. They went on a first date. Yeah. They weren't even dating. I mean, they weren't even in a relationship. Yes. They, they want, they want, right. They went on the first date and, uh, let me see. Yeah, it was in Milwaukee. Um, they went on the first date. I believe it was to a seafood restaurant. And um, he dismembered her. There was a leg found one place, a foot found someplace else. Very Jeffrey Dahmer. He just yes. didn't eat her body. But listen. Oh, and yes, thank you, Cali girl. They're saying that there were other missing black girls. And they're wondering if he was connected to some of those. So they're actually going to try to see if there's a connection to some of those stories. This is why it's important. Like when you are going on a date, whether it's a first time date or you're just getting to know somebody, listen, meet these motherfuckers out, right? And they did meet at a seafood restaurant. But my point in saying all of that is share your, if you got an iPhone, I don't know about how the galaxy works, but you need to share your <laughs> location with people. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I have a friend who was just in Mexico this past weekend for his birthday. I said, yeah, you send me your, your location before you leave. And so, like, you just got to be, you got to be mindful of and, stuff like and that. And people really need to be mindful of these dating that specifically. Especially jacked. Ja Listen, you can't tell the children nothing about jacked and grinder. <laughs> You tell them that, they think you, you, you listen. Is that a nail? Bitch. 
They showing me. I'm sorry, y'all. My car just got is out getting serviced right now, and, and they um, sending me the video from BMW, honey, oh. telling me, bitch, all this shit that they got. Thank God that I have the warranty on this damn car. <laughs> and it's and it's given very much like you got to be careful because there was a time that there was some guy going into Bulldogs, yes, luring the kids out, yes. Oh, y'all really? think y'all going? Y'all think y'all taking him home for a hookup? And he kills you. And the white member, the, the white, the white senator, or, or the white guy that was a part of the Congress was doing that to them black boys. Mm -hmm. hey. I don't remember his name. What you? But when we talked I about we that, talked about that. He was drugging yeah. all the all those black boys. Oh, kid. oh, bitch! You talking about um, what was that white man's name name out there in California? And he 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 killed the black boy from Louisiana. His yeah, name was, he was the black boy from Louisiana. He was killing Jamel. Ed Buck. Ed Buck. That's his name. The boy that he killed, his name was Jermel. I'll never forget that. Yes, Ed Buck. And he was a, a, a top Democratic uh, contributor. Ed Buck was. White man, gay, West Hollywood. And a lot of the Democrats, who happened to be black, even though this man was white, overlooked it. There were so many things coming out about Ed Buck. You know, because he would lure these little black boys who had moved to California who were struggling. And this guy, Jermel, had moved there from Louisiana like shortly after Katrina. Mm -hmm. And that motherfucker was drugging them children. He was shooting them up with drugs and shit and, um, and, 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 and fucking them up or whatever. Fetishizing them. Fetishizing them, using them for sex, and just basically keeping them drugged up so he could have his way. And um, this guy, Jermel, died, but then it was another guy who almost died, but he survived, and that's how it ended up coming out. But that Ed Buck wasn't even in jail for a long time. No. It's like these people just, just be having these, I believe it's when it comes to stuff like that, these people have a fetish of murdering people and mm -hmm. dismembering them and, and shit. Like, yeah, that's, that's wild. Like, what actually possesses your, your mind to be like, Okay, I'm gonna do whatever I want with them, and then after I'm done, I'm completely going to dispose of them. Like, you have to. You, that's not looking at people as human, yeah, right? That's it's, true. it's like dehumanizing people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think that I honestly think, to some of Craig's point, that a lot of white people have never really saw black people as human. Like, you know, they even even back then we were counted as a third uh -huh, of a one person. One third human. One third of a person yeah. for a vote. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, but these the, they're so Christian. Yes, and, and talking about how this country was built on such morals and standards. It was I don't want to hear none of that shit. That's and that's true. why I tell them when people be talking to me about how this one nation under God. Really? Mm -hmm. What God you talking about? Right. Which God? They're saying Ed Buck finally received 30 years. Good. I mean, but there were so many incidents that led up to this you know he should have been in jail like it should have never gotten to this other young boy Jermel that ended up ended up dying well we need to do a commercial break for the show okay. and they're saying also that the galaxy can share their share their location oh they okay. can well share your location galaxy people g share your location can you do it wait can you do it to an iphone <laughs> g if you're watching, share your location. Right? Can you share? Can you? Can the iPhone text you too? Can the Galaxy share an iPhone? Text me. And vice versa. <laughs> hey, G, share your location. <laughs> G's busy being a whore, but that's all. really. Oh, oh, excuse me. Can, uh, we need a commercial break. <laughs> and you do know that fags mean popular hot ass gossip. That's right. Yeah. It's a homonym. It's right popular hot ass gossip and we're two popular hot ass gossipers. gossipers. Bitch, when them hoes get on those large platforms, on those breakfast clubs, and on, and on those D.L. Hughesley shows that reach men, you fucking right, I'm gonna reach. Hold on, I gotta make sure I get the right sign created for you, cause I'ma have, girl, fuck them signs. I'ma have you repeat that. <laughs> if that was written, nobody can write shit for motherfucking me, ho. They might can write, they may write on that Instacart app that you go in and pick up those eggs, those apples, and those grapes, bitch, and you drop it off to their motherfucking door. They may write that on the app so that you can do that hey y'all this is t.s madison we need you to come out and join us for some good old hot nasty fun for the maddie in the morning show live at the city winery and baby listen it is going to be lit <laughs> And oh honey, 
Ain't no Maddie in the morning show live, live without some good old nasty fag talk. Ain't that right, Craig? You better know it, bitch. Get over to fagtalk.com and get your tickets. You can get the tickets for the April 24th show, May 22nd, June 19th, July 5th, or August 14th. Or come to all of the motherfuckers. That's what you got to do, honey. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. But that counts. And we're back. Hold on. No, I'm not coming to pick my vehicle. You're going to bring it to me. Girl. You okay? Well, they said they're going to replace all four of my tires. And it was like, because my car is so, <laughs> such a, just so much horsepower on that car uh-huh. that they, uh, that my tires are going to always have to be replaced. And like honey, how long will it, will it go to I don't know, but as long as it's under warranty, because all <laughs> of it is under warranty. Because those car, those, that shit is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm rich, but damn. I'm definitely <laughs> frugal. I can imagine how much I'm rich, but damn, I'm definitely frugal. You see, I wear $5 stretch pizzas in a heartbeat. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Bitch, that's why I do the things that I do. Must you do the things you do? Keep on acting like a fool. You need to know it's me, not you. And if you didn't know it, girl, it's true. Come on, bitch. So, <laughs> speaking of singers and dancers, child, uh-huh. Lil Uzi Vert, girl. Woo! Oh, yeah. Baby Lil Uzi Vert was down there to the Coachella. Honey, previewing the new music, honey. He had to do the evil dip. <laughs> Baby, he had a did a dip drop, bitch. I don't know what because I don't know nothing too much about the, the the ball world. I don't know nothing about that too much. I just know about death drops and dips and <laughs> this kind of shit right here. I don't know too much about it. You ever both, Maddie? I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> I'm a fag from Miami, bitch. I don't know. We ain't get into all the. Yeah, they do. Those, you know, we I knew about pageants. Ah, okay. We were pageant girls. You know, those girls were ball. There was this ball girls, pageant girls. They just, it's kind of the same yet different. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I see the girls, you know, I have a, a newfound situation for ballroom. I'm like, okay, yes, get it. But I also like when people live outside in the real world. Uh-huh. <laughs> Craig, like, oh. I mean, Craig and I have had our conversations on the phone, especially when he went to Paris. <laughs> Craig, like, I don't, I don't want to get into it. Anyway, this. so th- this is not about me. This is about Coachella and and, and the dip. <laughs> listen, listen I, don't, I don't need the ball children attacking me. Well, they already they already doing it because they're a lot of them are on Bigo, <laughs> and so that's where it's been. I've been getting a lot of that from. So it's just like, girl, this don't got nothing to do with it's y'all just the comprehension skill. This is what we're talking about because communication is our part. The comprehension skill, clarity is our friend. So what we were talking about, girl. Y'all so ready to motherfucker remind me what I used to be doing. And then y'all get mad when, I, when y'all try to remind me what I used to be doing. And I step in and tell y'all where y'all not at where I am. Then I'm bragging. But you want to remind me what I used to be doing. Right. And when I tell you where you not where I'm at, then I'm the problem. <laughs> okay. So I'm supposed to just sit back and let you remind me what I used to do. And we're going to skip over the whole fact that you not where I'm at. Okay. Ooh. But anyway, Ooh. so we're talking about Lucifer. Uh-huh. Lucifer falling back like that, doing a dip. Is he a fan? I think he's adjacent. Uh-oh. I think he's non-binary. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know what. I didn't know. I think that he's non-binary. Because hmm. he, I, I know he loved JT, though. I know that man do love Jay. Well, well, you know, know what else happened out there. At, um... Wait a minute. Hold on. We're not going to go there yet, Craig. We're going to get there in a second. No, I'm at the Coachella. Mm-hmm. We're going to get there. You know what I'm talking about? Whisper to me. Let me mute y'all mic real quick. Let me mute y'all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're talking about it. We're going to loop all that in. Okay. Because all of that falls in the nub out there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so we just talking about the 
<laughs> that evil dip that happened. Really? That's what you did? <laughs> <laughs> it was the evil. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yes, 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 yes. Was it good, though? It was. <laughs> it was good. If I was on the judges panel, I would have been like, tens. <laughs> tens. <laughs> tens. Because it gave up. <laughs> Baby, that leg had folded back behind his his back. Oh, bro, some of the children in the comments said it was a child. I don't well, see. That's why I'm not a girl. I'm not a ballroom girl because for me it was a ten for me because he's a he's a what? Okay, <laughs> no, because I need to ask so I don't be a dummy. Okay, go ahead. I don't want to be a dummy, bitch. Right. <laughs> for non-binary people, non-binary people. Can you be straight and non-binary? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, oh, that I'm, is a good I'm coming to you as a dummy. No, that's I'm a coming good. to you as a dummy. That's a good I'm question. coming to you as a dummy. I'm coming to you as a dummy. If can you be straight and non-binary? Non-binary. You said yes. Someone said yes. Yeah, the people are saying yes. People say yes. Oh. Somebody said no. Somebody said no. What was the question? Can you be straight and be non-binary? Yes. What? Yes, Craig. Okay. You now know, that sounds like an oxymoron to me. Hell no, 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 Craig. Because no, no, be, no, no, hold on, because let me help you. Because okay, you're not ahead. these things. I'm these things. <laughs> I'm I'm trans and I identify as heterosexual. Okay. But if you're non-binary, that means you don't see that means you don't see gender, right? Like you don't have, you don't, you don't you're cook. not male or female. Right. So technically you, you can't be gay or straight, I guess, if you really look no, at it. No, because you know, that's because that's the sexuality. My sexual orientation is heterosexual. But what make, but what makes you gay though? And what makes you straight? They say non-binary is just gender identity. Not sexuality. Well, if you're straight, what? That's why I had to it come as a. Confusing. That's why it I had to dumb. come dumb. Yeah, it, it is. Kind well, of wait. Confusing. If it's gender, if, if 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 wait, what? Gender identity, then wait. What was it? So if you are if you're non-binary, can you be heterosexual or I guess straight? I mean, can you be heterosexual or uh, gay? That's that's what basically he's trying to say. Yeah, I don't know. And see, that's the kind of that's why you're gonna be called Samantha or Keisha or Kevin <laughs> or, 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 or Keith. I'm not getting into all of that. I, I don't I don't I don't listen. I don't know what that means. So if you're non-binary, isn't it that you don't identify as male or female? Right. So that's then a, how are you straight? Or or technically how are or you? Or gay. Straight? You're yeah, in your own you category. Or straight? Aren't you in your own category? I don't think they have no. <laughs> So is it bisexual, maybe? Okay, I can maybe see that. If you're non-binary. Craig, but you just completely missed me saying that I'm transsex transgender and I am I believe in heterosexual. But your identity is female, right? Right. See, no, my, my identity is transgender. But you but, but you identify, identify as, as female. female. No. You were born male, were born, but, you but you identify as female. No, I identify as transgender. Maddie. But you identify <laughs> with a female. Right. Pre female presenting. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I don't want to no more. I want you to. I don't, I don't want to no more. <laughs> you identify as a, tr a transgender woman. So you are under the woman umbrella, right? Transgender woman. But you are under the woman umbrella. I am a transgender Maddie, woman. That's what I'm asking you. Yeah, yes but no I am question. a transgender woman. Okay, but Maddie, yes or no? Yes, but yeah. I am a transgender <laughs> woman. Maddie, but you identify... I am a transgender woman. See, I blame white people for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> I blame white people for all, for all of this. I am a transgender woman. But you... You identify, you put yourself underneath 
the woman umbrella. But I am a transgender woman. But that's not the question I'm asking. I am you. not a female. Okay, but I know you're not female. I am not, not, a female. not a female. But you are underneath the woman umbrella, right? Yes. So and you like men, right? Men like me too. But oh but my you gosh! Guys, but, <laughs> but the thing too is. You don't really go for gay men. Gay men don't go for me either. And so, and you go for and men. But there are gay men who like trans women. Then they're not gay. So what are they? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no, what, no. What? I'm not talking about straight men who won't fuck me. Who right. will fuck a trans girl. I, there are gay men who will fuck me and will also fuck you. And so That's what, what I'm call, talking and about. And what do you call those men? Fluid. If they fuck me and Craig, they're fluid. Me, you, me, Craig, and you, Mo, because there are some men that will fuck me, Craig, and you <laughs> with the three different identities in here. Those now, are see, fluid. Now, see, when I thought fluid, when I think of, and I'm not saying that I'm right, but when I think of fluid, I think of somebody who's straight who will tiptoe it through the tulips. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Occasionally. Somebody that's straight that, that goes through all Correct. variety. But I guess what you're saying does make sense in terms of the gay part if they deal with gay boys and trans girls. I need 30 seconds, really quick. Okay. 30 seconds, y'all. I had to tell Craig something important. You know, I just got another gig. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Viacom. <laughs> I mean Netflix. Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was in my phone. So, thank you, Netflix. <laughs> oh, <Lord>. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for yet again another residual check. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody says, "So, what is Wayne Brady?" Right, I just saw that. He's too. he's pansexual. That means he'll have you. Oh, well, okay. according to what he Pan wants. Pansexual that means you're you're attracted to personality. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's, <sighs> if it's gay, if it's straight, if it's trans. As long as you're not a duller. A what? Oh, sorry, that's a Nigerian thing. A dull dull. Try. He lived over there for four years, and every time I look up. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm Nigerian, Nigerian. Like, he like, like he really know. You only Nigerian because Mr. John of Nigeria. Right. No, you were, you were only there for you high school. Only, I'm Nigerian because you only, I lived there. You were only, only there for high school. school. Girl, you only Nigerian because Mr. Jollof from Nigeria and Miss Jollof. Mr. and Miss Jollof is Nigerian, you and you only be that's it, girl. I could go there and I could live there and I could live there comfortably, and they wouldn't be able to yes, tell me. Yes, yes, yes. I lived. I listen. I lived in France, but I'm not Parisian. Correct. But I'm Nigerian though. You I were, am Nigerian. You were born here. But I, I'm Nigerian by blood and... So am I. I got a Nigerian I, passport. Wait, I'm not, I got a Nigerian I'm passport. I'm Nigerian too. <laughs> I did my 23 and me. Let's clear the air, bitch. <laughs> I'm Nigerian motherfucking too, bitch. But I'm, I got a green passport. It's, it's okay. I got two passports too. One say male, one say female. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you know what, Betty? I'm done with you, bitch. I'm done with you. Now let's get back to this little Uzi verse so we can move on. Child, he lived over there for four years. How did he barely went to the prom lived, over there? I lived over there for four years, but my whole family is Nigerian. Let's get and back so to is, this little Uzi verse. So is mine, <laughs> bitch. My goddamn 23 and me. My last name is Jemishay. That's right, Jollof. <laughs> So back to what we were talking about, Lil Uzi Vert. Did that? Yes, 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 yes. Drop, <laughs> bitch. I went up. Uh, baby, they drug him up and down the street. <laughs> and honey, listen, I have already told y'all that there are bad, there is ba a bad bitch in every straight man that I know. Every single straight man I know got a bad bitch in her. Cause baby, let me tell you something. When Mo was Dracula, Mo was a bad bitch. You hear me? <laughs> Mo, when you couldn't tell Mo nothing on Halloween, when Mo was Darth Maul, Mo was a bad bitch. You hear me? 
He was a bad bitch. <laughs> really? He had walked in there in no shoes and that thing. He was like, "What? What you you see it, bitch?" <laughs> he did like Aretha. I did not do that. He did like Aretha <laughs> said, "You see it, bitch." Bitch, you see it. I did not do that. You didn't, but it was in your spirit, though. <laughs> Bitch, you see it. <laughs> Bitch, you see it. And that's why we over uh, here with NLE uh, Chopper, who over here saying, uh, "Bitch, if I was the bad bitch, yo, I would have fucked me too. I would have sucked me too. <laughs> I would have fucked me too. To me, to me, to me, to me, to me, <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, fine, cute, fine ass nigga." <laughs> Over there living his best life, motherfucking being, being a bad bitch on the inside. Let these niggas be hoes. Y'all gotta let these niggas be bad bitches. Well, I tell you one thing about him. He's smart to acknowledge and, and thank his uh, gay fans. Well, the, but well, the question is, the here's the question. I can't. Even, go ahead. Here's the motherfucking question. The the real tea and the hot question is, did you do it because you know the facts by record? Well, that's my point. I mean, to be honest with you, when it comes to entertainment, music, whatever in entertainment, the, the two people that that dominate, people from the LGBTQ and women. Well, here's the thing. Fags usually have a lot of discretionary income. Thank you, Netflix. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry <laughs> Thank you. You know, oftentimes we have extra money because we don't have children. I know there are a lot of fags that have kids, but a lot of times we don't have children, so we don't have that expense. You know what I'm saying? Oftentimes we are high earning because we excel in academia. I think there was some pushback the last time I said it. They didn't like to hear that, but the truth <laughs> is... Um, black gay men and black women are neck and neck in terms of income and, and, and education where black straight men are back here somewhere. Doesn't mean that they aren't high earning black straight men, but what I'm saying is we outpace them. Well, in education, I will do, I do definitely agree. And money. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, I don't know about the. I don't know about because if you're not an athlete, I do. I know. I, I say I don't know about. I say I don't know about the. Uh, the, the LGBTQ. Oh my! I don't know about gay. I don't know about the gay men. I don't know about gay men. Quick, wait! I was. Did I say that out loud? Because if you're not an athlete, <laughs> right, or a drug dealer, <laughs> we 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 need to have more good black doctors. I really wish you guys would become more good black doctors. Black male mm -hmm. doctors, please. I need to see more black men doctors. Less rappers, more doctors. Uh, Greg, my name is Craig. I don't know who you think I'm jealous Greg. of, but not, my name is Craig. <laughs> not Greg. <laughs> well, he's trying to read. <laughs> we need more black doctors. They said, Madison, you said I meant that. No, I didn't mean that. But um, yeah, if you're an athlete, <clears throat> A drug dealer, which drug dealer just went out of the window. Mm. Um, well, since we in the fluid department, girl, we and it's about time for you to leave. Mm -hmm. We might well just close out with Jada Smith and Justin Bieber over there hugged up like that at the Coachella. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I just think I just think that they were. <laughs> no, they was they was friendly. That's friends. I just think that was friendly. I don't I don't think it was nothing either. Even yeah, though we even though we know that the girls get into the pain. Now Jaden Smith is. Now who said that? Who he well, did? Accordingly, I heard that. I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard that he dated uh Tyler. It, was it? Yeah, Tyler, Tyler the, the creator. creator. I heard not that he Perry the creator. No, no, no. Yeah, not not sorry, not Tyler Perry. Wait, I meant don't say. start this. No, you look like <laughs> No, no, I meant this really meant Tyler and I just the Creator. Wanna, and I want to make sure that they know which Tyler yeah, we're Tyler talking about creator, not, this time. Yeah, it's Tyler the Creator. That's what I heard. I heard that they were dating. <laughs> they had a little thing or they had a little thing going on. So, I mean, you never know. And then did it you did it and did we play that video of uh Justin and uh Odell in the club? Do we still have it? 
I don't know if we still have it, man. You sure? Yeah. I told you to keep these things in a folder, Greg. I'm all, <laughs> I said keep these things in the folder just in case we need them again. I always tell you I didn't you know you want me to keep that one in the folder. Yes, any man sucking dick, keep it in a folder. <laughs> Look, Dundana da, 97, you caught that? <laughs> Done down in 97. You caught that. What happened? <laughs> this time. <laughs> ah, ah, you got to be quick. You got to be quick. You quick, Dundada. You got to be quick to catch these little. <laughs> you got to be quick. Hey, boy, shout out. I know it for myself. Hey, boy, shout out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Listen, we got to go. We do. We do. <laughs> But listen, y'all, I mean, it's okay if you're gay. And it's okay, you know. Listen, ladies, I'd like to leave you with these thoughts. You guys have made this thing so terrible for these men. These men, there's a bad bitch in every man. Mm. I don't give a fuck what these men, it's a bad bitch. If, if a man can, I have watched men who identify as straight, fag out and i've seen i mean fag like yes i've seen them and i've been like yes bitch <laughs> give me all you got girl yes there's so much locked up inside of men and they can't release it out of the fear of mm. being labeled judge this is good there's so much locked inside of men and they hold this stuff and they hold it, and then when you catch them then it'd be the thing because they you you they can never release the thing so I'm glad you said that because it goes back to what we were talking about just before we went live. Black men in particular, because I don't know if this is really a big deal in other communities. Well, I think it is in like Hispanic communities because we're very similar in terms of culturally how the communities see homosexuality. But that said, black men are expected to be linear, especially whether you're straight or gay, we're expected to be linear. We're not, ex we're not supposed to experiment with color in our hair, uh, color emotions. in terms of clothing, express your emotions. You're not supposed to be able to be interested in Didn't the arts. Did you say somebody said if they cried? Who you said to Yeah, if you cry and you show an emotion, like we're expected to be linear. And I believe that that is part of the reason why you have black men dropping dead at 40 and 50 from a heart attack because they have all of these emotions and feelings and they have no place to put it. They have no way, nowhere to it, it release oh, Kay it. Michelle. Kay Michelle recently said she sometimes feels like her man um, can't protect her if he shows emotion. But, you know, and I've, I've said this so many times before, the way that we raise little boys is drastically different than the way that we raise girls in this country. And the truth is, we tell little boys, stop crying. You sound, stop, don't be a little pussy or don't be a little bitch or don't be a little, whatever you call them, scaredy cat or whatever you uh, call don't them. Don't be a faggot. Don't be a faggot. And you, 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 you telling them basically to, supp to suppress their feelings and their emotions. Those little boys have to grow up and be grown men. And then they're in relationships with you and me. And then they don't know how to emote. They don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to tell you what they feel and what they want because see, a part of taking care of yourself is telling people what you need. And a lot of times, black men don't know how to say what they need. They don't know how to express themselves and show emotion because of what we have we programmed little boys to believe about themselves. Well, but even when you get older and you want to express or you want to convey an emotion towards, I would just say, at, to your partner or, or somebody, What's the first thing they're going to say? Why are you being a little bitch? Well, that's what I'm saying. And so a lot of times, a lot of times in relationships, whether it's friendships, relationships, whatever, men don't speak about what they're actually feeling and thinking because it goes all, even if they're not thinking about it on a, on a conscious level, on a subconscious level, they're thinking about that little boy that they were when they fell down and skint their knee and their mama or their daddy or their uncle or their older brother say, get up and stop crying like a little girl. So what are you, you're conditioning to think that they can't express and feel. You want them to be robots. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and then you see that kind of explosion going on in the Coachella. 
That boy was so caught up in that yes, 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 yeah. I was like, bitch, eat it, girl. Mm -hmm. Eat it. Yes, I did say girl. I did. But that don't mean I think that he was a girl. But I was telling him, eat it, girl. Eat it. Eat it. Let your inner bitch loose. He was like, yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. And they make that music and they, yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. I'm going to look that up. Craig, it's right here. I kept it. I watched it. So, I think I watched it on loop. Mm hmm. Because it was so. He was gone. Mm hmm. And that damn NLA, and I was a bad bitch. He was like, I would have fucked me too. Uh, I would have fucked. It has the same cadence. Uh, right. Uh, uh, to me, 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 to me, to me, to yeah, me. You were bumping that all morning. I was bumping it all day. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was bumping the bad bitch all day. It made me even feel like more of a bad bitch because a bad bitch was letting me know that they was a bad bitch. <laughs> and then, you know, and then there was a point too where, and I think this is true for a lot of black men. Um, where I thought that it was it was weak to express my excuse me to express my feelings to say oh you hurt my feelings or that hurt me when you said that or when you did that da 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 you know but it takes courage it and, takes courage to express yourself and to say how you feel and Craig I'll even piggyback on what you're saying some people are afraid to express themselves and there's some men that when they do express themselves it doesn't come out the way it should it comes out more aggressively. And more, uh, more, uh, I would say, I don't want to say hateful, but more uh, in the sense of, yeah, I got to show that I'm tough while I'm expressing. Well, you know what, Mo? You in a safe place over here. And anytime you want a bad bitch with me, you can bad bitch with me and I won't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. But it will express in the videos and stuff that we will we get on the last one. You, you can bad bitch with me, nigga. Not, nigga, you can bad bitch no, with me, I'm nigga. Not. You can bad bitch with me, nigga. <laughs> You always got a safe space to bad bitch with me. Because when you had that Dracula shit on you, was like, what, bitch? I'm not going to lie. Was, I was feeling myself, but was I wasn't yes. bad bitching. Oh, you was bad bitching? Oh, bitch I was feeling myself, oh, you but was I wasn't bad bitching. <laughs> Oh, you was bad bitching there. I wasn't bad bitching. You was bad bitching there. I was feeling myself, but I wasn't bad bitching. You, you, <laughs> you was bad bitching, nigga. You was bad bitching. Bro, did he have hair on? Oh, he had, he had his hair down. And he had those red contacts in it and those teeth. <laughs> he was bad bitching. I wasn't bad bitching. I was like, I let, was myself, I was like let that bitch I loose. I was like, turn that bitch loose. <laughs> Come on, Akasha. Let her out. Let her out. Come on, Akasha! Cause you can't, that was very the queen of the vampires. Come on, Akasha! Oh, really, really, man. Come on, bitch! Come on! Out of all the vampires, that's who I gave. Cause that was the queen of the vampires, <laughs> bitch. Cause you walk, you walked in like what? You walked in like that is enough list that. You could have given me Blade or somebody. No, 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 no. No, Blade was a bad bitch too. <laughs> and he was definitely Akasha. But you, but it was very Akasha. It, when we talk about the bad bitch and you, where well, it gave very much so. That is enough list that. <laughs> That is enough list stop. Uh, that is enough list stop. <laughs> Girl, we finna go. Bye, y'all. We gotta get out of here. Craig got a dinner party. We Bye. love y'all, but we'll see y'all in a couple days. Wait a minute, okay, because I'm being canceled. Right. Filming, filming for <laughs> We might see y'all next week at the show, April 24th. Yes. Wait, Craig, I'm being canceled. Actually, don't be on work tomorrow at Netflix and stuff. And right after that, you're going to be in Canada. <laughs> bingo, bingo. But anyway, <laughs> bye, y'all. We love you. Bye. Hey, everybody. This is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey. A broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Shh. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one on one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton and you'll be glad you did. I promise. And you do know that fags mean popular hot ass gossip. That's right. It's, it's a homonym. It's right. Popular hot ass gossip. And we're too 
popular hot ass gossipers. <laughs> Bitch, when them hoes get on those large platforms, on those breakfast clubs, and on, and on those DL Hughley shows that reach men's feet, you fucking right, I'm gonna re- Hold on, I gotta make sure I get the right sound crazy for you, because I'm gonna have- Girl, fuck them sides. I'm gonna have you repeat that. <laughs> if that was written, nobody can write shit for motherfucking me, ho. They might can write, they may write on that Instacart app that you go in and pick up those eggs, those apples, and those grapes, bitch, and you drop it off to their motherfucking door. They may write that on the app so that you can do that. Hey, y'all, this is T.S. Madison. We need you to come out and join us for some good old hot, nasty fun for the Maddie in the Morning show live at the City Winery. And baby, listen, it is going to be lit. <laughs> And oh, honey, ain't no Maddie in the morning show live, live without some good old nasty fag talk. Ain't that right, Craig? You better know it, bitch. Get over to fagtalk.com and get your tickets. You can get the tickets for the April 24th show, May 22nd, June 19th, July 5th, or August 14th. Or come to all of the motherfuckers. That's what you got to do, honey. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. But that counts. Girl, what is this? This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is, right there. You ain't right gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Damn.